Hello, welcome. Today we'll be starting a new long play. Instead of Frostpunk, we will be playing Dare Billions on the hardest difficulty. We'll be playing through the campaign because the random scenarios suck up. So that's what we are going to do. Let's jump into the campaign. Can you save? Hey, pin boy, welcome. And welcome, FGs. We will never know. Not necessarily. I don't think Jake was particularly good at the game, but he also is not generally very good at RTS games, so can't blame him. The hardest difficulty is insane. It's gonna be very very hard and even a single research that's chosen poorly could lead to a quick end of the campaign before it really starts, so we'll need to make educated decisions on what to prioritize. Increase the volume. Don't remember the story. I guess it's just Welcome. a little map. So you want to be the new general? Is it a conquering campaign? Yeah. <laughs> so. well, I warn you, my young general, your diplomacy is not an option. Is How many attempts have there really a rip off of this, Ten, and 12, not a great one. Your predecessors are dead or have gone mad. Do you really think you Even though this game is also crowdfunded, hmm. so it began as Kickstarter, I think. I'll give you a chance. Listen carefully. Our goal is to build new colonies in strategic locations to expand the empire beyond the Great Crater. I also want you to explore the ancient human strongholds and retrieve any technology from before the pandemic. We will use that to build more powerful colonies. You may also find swarms blocking your way. Destroy them with the might of the Empire's army. But be warned, failure is not an option. Succeed in your mission or never return. Okay, so the first mission is gonna be pretty straightforward. So we'll be like Two missions after that, but then it's gonna become a real pain. Okay, so currently, yeah, we can we, we can choose our hero. So we'll be going for Chaos. He talks and moves. But okay, he's supposed to be entombed in a Golden Throne. Okay, yeah, so let's pick Kalos. No reason to pick the lady. She sucks. Uh, Apocalypse, of course. Start. Accessible. Fifty percent. Uh. What would be real nasty is if the highest difficulty would disable the pause action. That's what you usually do. You pause quite a bit. Send the initial units, start by slapping down some tents. Let's do it here. There's a tree in the way for efficient building, but that's fine. Might be some undead in the woods. You'll need to find a stone deposit. Uh, I think one of them, yeah. There is stone right here, so it will be fine. Let's make sure there are no sneaky zits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Right, uh, she found some. Mm, still no income, so after we get some, we will build some more stuff. Okay. It's fine. Mm, not fine. Let's go this one from a distance. Need to make sure this is safe. Let's do an attack move. There's another Zerg there, yeah. Okay, now we have 200 gold. Let's grab... German. Could get a second one there, since we grabbed this position. It should allow us to have two. Oh yeah, we can have one there. Okay, perfect. Let's get another tent. Yeah, let's go here. So let's just come in along. It's like we are collating the stone mine nicely. Go back. We'll destroy the rest of them. In here it will take quite a while to deal with everything. Mm. Next up we'll need a uh, lumber camp, but we can spend some extra money for the tents. That's fine. Better be good. Great. Gotcha. Yes. Building complete. Gotcha. Whatever you say. As long as you think. Yeah, there is a whole bunch of them in there. Which is fine. Let's grab this stone. Any more of them? Like they are all on the other side, so let's bunch up the rangers. Hmm, you shouldn't worry about the uh noise just yet. Let's grab the sawmill. Where do we want that? Let's get one there. What about the hunter section? Could we get a hunter there? Actually don't have enough dry it out. So what's not? Instead let's grab two more tents. We will need them. There's like a hundred of them in here. So I need to clear them up, then there will be some food. It's permanent, so pretty good bonus. Currently we have like a very basic uh, tier of technology, so the only thing we can make are rangers. You cannot even make a workshop yet. Which is fine. Just barracks, tents, hunters, fishermen, and so else. And also energy towers and melt. That's how it starts. Okay, so we have 200. Uh, let's start moving towards the stone, I guess. We'll need to get it for the barracks, so no reason to delay. The final horde is gonna come at day 16. Currently, it's day 1. That's 18 hours. Let's get some extra tents. We'll have to grab a mill pretty soon. And actually we are missing some food already. So let's take a look. I wanted to build two hunters. Can we do it? Unfortunately this one would have to be moved. Can we move him here? Not really. Is that a problem? Oh, it's outside of the energy range, I see. Uh, right. So it might actually be enough. Um, like that. So let's keep one there. Mm. You're gonna need a mill eventually. But for now, let's just get another hunter in here. Continue clearing this up. Our units actually gain veterans, so you can see the experience there on each individual unit. When it reaches up to 100%, it's it will become a veteran. Faster attack speed, more damage, more health. Very, very valuable. 
Okay, the star is done. Move towards the stone mine. Stanska. Just continue clearing as a group, I guess. This one we should try to clear some of these, but it's gonna be dangerous. There are gonna be runners in there, so that will be an issue. Keep an eye out. Otherwise, they can totally repair rangers to shreds very quickly. For each tent you get, you don't only uh, increase your population and workers, you also increase your gold income. Units and structures do cost gold. Well. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we attracted two runners. Bad. And out two of these to help out. The zombies actually regenerate, so do the units, if you keep them out of combat, not as kill them. This guy needs to move. We have 400. Take a look. It's got a stone mine. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Mm, just keep one at the front. We need to clear the bottom first before we do anything else, basically. And he's all take care of the decrepit ones. Right? Yes. But even zombies hitting buildings or units it will actually cause a whole bunch of noise. And that is a noise mechanic in the game, so it will attract more and more and more zombies as they hit it more and more. So the uh, the game is very snowbally. If you do a mistake, it's gonna collapse. Uh, everything is gonna collapse on you. So you need to be mindful of that. Get ahead of the problems. Uh, grab a mill. Take a look how far this reaches. <clears throat> to not have it impacting the productivity of the hunter. We can help it, and we should do some extra tons here. So let's grab it. Okay. Mm. Might need to build an extra tower here. Let's do it. The energy is basically like your supply, so you always want to be building a mill if you are approaching zero, so you are not supply blocked, basically. You want to spend your resources as they come in, because there is capacity of them. So there's gold, wood, stone, iron and oil, and these resources are colonists, workers, food and energy. Corresponding numbers here are income. Income counts. Each eight hours, I think. Okay, uh, make some more tons. I need to think about a barracks. I need to make more stone. Like we have 13, we need 20. Then we'll need some extra wood. So let's grab an extra sawmill in here. And let's grab a hunter in there, just to make more food, it's gonna be important. Maybe you'll get some veterans soon out of these, it's like I have some experience. Clear that. Goal for this mission is population of 300 and kill all swarms and kill all infected. Not a big deal. Should be able to handle it quite quickly. Let's move on. Okay, let's continue making the tents. No problem encroach on this guy a little bit. Fine.
you get new people each time the train arrives so these uh, tents are inactive now they become active as train arrives with more people okay now it wants us to build the barracks so we will do that but not just that first we probably need an energy tower Let's grab one there was really no good space for it can still build the barracks. Actually, sneak it in here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, else? No, I think we don't have enough food. That is the food package, so we'll get that. Zombies are trickling in now, so we'll need to get them on top of that. One of the ranchers should be enough. To deal with that. This one is almost out of turn. Yeah. Let's move her up here. These two can take care of the rest. Let's start to expand. So we'll build another energy tower. And yeah, that for now. We'll probably want another mill eventually. Currently we have 19 workers left, which is good enough. Get more stuff. This veteran, uh, this ranger is almost a veteran as well. Yeah, let's get the crate. Okay. Got a mel in here. Okay, this is active. You'll need some gold. Get that soon enough. Start making some rangers. Let's take a look. 17 food. 14. There are some runners. Could be problematic. Now let's move back a little bit so we don't make too much noise because they will converge on this location otherwise. Maybe okay, we got a new ranger trained up. Let's make another one. And we should probably expand the network as well. Full of suffering. It is full of suffering. Attention. Building completed. Attention. There is a zombie actually. That could be like a really, really, really bad. Better be good. Wait up, Almost at the run there. I was sure that I scouted it properly, but I should have gone into the nooks <laughs> in the woods. Okay, we have the food. Slap down some of the tents. Let's scout this out. Do you see any more bad people? Doesn't look like it. Let's make sure we create more <coughs> rangers and discover this entrance. We'll want an extra. Hunter. Over here. And at some point we should have enough to push in. But it's not just yet. We have six. Some of them are better, but it's not enough. There is like a whole bunch of the runners in there, so yeah, now they are coming in bigger numbers. Need to be on top of that. So we'll need an economy to support the growth of the army, which means constantly pushing with the energy towers. And in this direction as well, probably, but first, just need more money. Get more income as these people moved in.
Try to whittle down the numbers again. We can page them out little by little, that would be perfect. Check out if we can make any more hunters here. There's like 13 there. Let's get one there. And uh, let's make a few more tents. I'm missing like 5 gold for the ranger, but that's fine. Alright, uh, there is a whole lot of them, so let's retreat. I'll kill them here. Break them up so they don't come as a huge swarm, but instead as uh, smaller groups. Another veteran, that's good. It would actually be good if we could push in this direction as well with some of our stars. Looks like we cannot get a hunter there, but we can get one in there. Do we need another metal? Not just yet. Make me these tents. We can make another tower. Do it here. Punch them up. Hmm, we'll to resume recruiting as soon as possible. Now we are drawing attention from this. So it's uh, not good. We need to compensate for that. Let's take a look at hunters again. Can we slot down some extra ones that would be efficient. It's like we can get a ton there. Not much else currently. It's okay. We'll need a mail as well. Okay, right. Uh, we are getting more and more, so let's just go back a little bit. Take a look at Huntress here. Can't make any. Let's kill these. Okay, even more tents. Let's do it. It's more money. Uh, push in here with a tower, and we could actually expand. No, no, no. Let's keep it. Let's keep it for the mill and the soldiers, or the rangers rather will be important. Let's get one ranger to patrol this. Go in here. Start clearing. I think now we could have enough to just start steamrolling this area. Would be pretty good if that was the case. Isn't the game volume a little low for some reason? I feel like it is. I'm going to the menu. Mm. Looks like that's buffed up to max. Tell me if it's low. Can maybe try to fix it by buffing it uh, via OBS. Okay, that's a whole bunch of them. So let's try to break them up again by retreating and shooting them. Did we build the mill? I think not yet. So let's get one. That would be here. Got some hands. It's 11. 11 is probably not enough. Uh, at some point, we'll want an extra barracks as well. But that point is not here yet. Cannot support uh, production, so no point in having that. Mm, check out how far we can build this. Like we can get two, like this. Okay, okay. Be a bunch of food. A little bit of hitting is fine. Uh, we actually need to keep two in here because uh, the stream of enemies is getting a little larger, so that is dangerous. Okay, we are getting attacked here. 
At least they should be getting some experience, the ones that are not veteran yet. Will be invaluable. Yeah, I think we killed a bunch of them by drawing them out, so now it shouldn't be that bad. Deal with them. Let's get another barracks. And let's slap down some extra tents in here. And here. Could even get more if we get more gold. We will want to do that. Uh, this is kind of dangerous. <clears throat> okay, well, that's, that, that is a big group of infected. So let's do some volleys and then retreat back. Let's do some guiding. Then move back in. This may be just an attack group. So on some maps you'll actually get attacked like that. There is a map edge where they are coming from, basically. Let's make another tower. And expand the tent down. Uh, all the additional hunter in here. Can we get him to do more than nine? It'll work. Fortunately, there is a bunch of them around here, and there is a spot, right? I saw one somewhere. There. Let's get it going. And now we need some recruitment as well. That'll be after income. How are we doing on population? I think we are almost there. And these are not active yet. So you're probably gonna reach the population target but like quickly without much issue. Make another hunter. Let's cap. Place these properly, and yeah, it looks like we don't have that much uh, gold currently. So getting more population is in our best interest if you want to make a bigger army, which will be necessary. Uh, let's take a look. We're getting checked. Yeah. Make sure they can hold this. You know we have double barracks. I have minus one food. It's because we placed something where there was a hunter's coverage. But it actually doesn't impact anything if it's in minus. Let's clean this up. Smart thing to do would be to take out some of the veterans and just clear with the regular guys instead. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a luxury like that. When they arrive, we'll do it. Okay, let's go here. Send the newbies in. Is there? Yeah, there are zombies already here. So let's make sure they don't threaten us much. Kill these. For more food, we'll probably want to just uh, capture some from the camps across the river. Are you doing on cube? At the back, uh, you have full stone and wood. Could just expand this, I guess. I'll need another mail just because later we'll want some extra, uh, extra tents. Send these up. Make sure we clear every single one, last one from here. And we need to make sure that this is properly covered by pylon so we can wall it off. 
when the final horde is inbound. Still have six days, so that should be planted. Let's take a look in here. No enemies there. Let's go back here. Keep producing. And maybe make a uh, reasonably efficient hunter. Actually, it's blocking off the best spots. Uh, sometimes it's not worth it to just go for a little bit of extra food if it scuppers your extra hunter. But in this case, I'm not planning to expand there, I don't think. So it's fine. Okay, let's well, start sending the troops across the river. Once we have the income, we will build the defenses here. Okay, let's do it. So there is a tile that's empty in here. Means you'll want to keep a gate and a double gate. This direction can be open. Don't care about that. Let's go. Okay, there is a group, and this is actually an attack group. We cleared out the north, but they are here to attack you, so we need to clear them out. Throw it one of the gatehouses. Okay. Deal with them, go across. And we'll make another one. Should have enough. Let's do it. And you move up. Shoot, move up. Shoot. Well, they're just otherwise gonna get stuck for days fighting like two zombies at once. Just horrible. That's how they work. Kind of micromanage them. And if it sucks. Split them up. Just make more units. We want those third barracks, probably. Could get an extra tent. But so far, the groups are supporting each other, so they are doing fairly well. You need to keep sending more, though. They are not all veterans, so they could get easily overwhelmed. We are not very careful. Do you want that? Oh, do we want the other barracks? I'm actually not convinced. Maybe we do. There isn't much else we can do with the manpower. Oh, get a hunter or two. I'll search the malas from building on the hunting grounds. Another group of units. Send them in. These are advancing very slowly. Help them out. So, um, actually, I have full treasure almost, so let's spend the money before we collect the stuff. You collect it. Get the food as well. Okay. Uh, I think we will want some extra. Uh, at least one mil. It's probably gonna be necessary. Scout that out. Keep these for defense for now. Ok, 
go. Okay, another barracks is done. Let's keep producing units. Did we lose a unit? I think one ranger died. It's okay. Get the food. Converge here and getting even more tents would be good. But we'll need an energy as well. So let's get a mill. Clear that out. Hey Super Cheese, welcome. Yeah, it's the first map, so you don't have technology. So we have to work with. It's fine though. Uh, it's very intense. Quite like it. I do think that the uh, campaign design in their billions is actually good. I'm well aware Jake doesn't like it, but that doesn't mean it's not good in my books. It's his opinion. I love it. Sharing out units. I want an extra barracks, probably. Did we get extra people? Yes, we did. I said it would be 20 wood and 450 gold. Uh, but we have Q and full Q, so it's okay. Once we get the sawmill income, we could actually build a sawmill. Extra one. Let's do it. And let's get the barracks in here. Keep producing. The whole map should be clear now. We'll get the final swarm pretty soon. Uh, check if everything is in order. We can actually move the shirt box up. Right. They are probably gonna come from here. This is still counted as north. Go for staggered defense. Just to make them come a little bit lighter, so should be good. Keep making units. Need some wood. Okay. They are coming from here. Move them here. Hold position. Keep making an ad sign, you'll see.
This wall is gonna be the weak point. Yeah, let's retreat behind our secondary defense hold position. Move these around a little bit. Hold. Like there is only a few left. Let's move up. Yeah, that's the first map. Before we do anything with the research, we'll go here. This is the hero mission, so it's a free one. That bad. Definitely better than Age of Empires 2 or other RTS no build missions. The missions in their billions are actually to tolerable for me. Just because I collect stuff that I can use to improve everything later. So, kinda good for me. I hate when I have to just do something because of just yeah, it's cool to break up the RTS stuff, you know. Oh. Have the stuff open the shower. There will be bad people. Kill them. Okay, let's shoot him in the face. You actually can shoot faster if you manually target between the units. But the hero. Something that can be useful. Get that. I have two soldiers. I hate micro, but when I don't have an economy, I don't have anything to deal with other than this. It's actually tolerable. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Just kill them. Fine. You take any damage. Oh, totally okay. Chaos is gonna do the area attack. Let's ravage through the battles. I only hit micro because it takes away my attention from economy. Okay, let's pick him up. And the uh, crowns. Whoop. Move them here. They actually get stuck on the sandbox. Not great. Should have done that the other way around when they will be guarding the hole where they endlessly enter the map from. Pull this group. a little bit more left. Clean this up. I don't know, just 
to away with the notifications. Ah, uh, it's almost horrible, I almost shot the barrel. Let's not do that. Uh, guard the hole. Catch this. Okay, there is a runner. Let's kill him. There are some crates. Rummage through them. Okay, we have all the research. Get these guys in here. We'll drop down the barrel here. See what comes out. Probably just a few enemies. I don't expect a huge amount of them. We'll probably have to go in and manually kite them out. How are the soldiers doing? I actually think I got them. Like you can cheese it, you can keep the soldiers nearby the hole and just keep them until they are veteran and then they will do much better. But uh, it's not really necessary in the first mission. Just because uh, it is on 800% so even the no build missions are actually 8 times as much as on standard. But it still is uh, fine. At least the initial one. On the later no build missions there can be some issues with the amount of enemies if you are not careful. But here it's not big of a problem, I don't think. Conga line. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Go out, throw them out, and deal with them. I hope this is majority of them. Look, there is some left. Or no, can actually use the med kit. No need to keep it. If it gave like bonus research for saving it, I would definitely save it. But it's just an item you can use for an extra cost. So fine. Yeah, let's get the gold. There are books on the table we need to get. Kill this Z. Bunch of Zs, sure. Let's take the soldiers. Yeah, come help out with this. Okay, now we can actually start clearing them out properly. I think. One of them is better. Okay, right. So that is, yeah, we have all the empire points and all the research points. So let's just grab the cube. And let's go. And while well, on the way back, we'll just ignore everything. Okay. So far, not too bad. There will be missions where I will spend entire sessions just grinding through them, doing things to try to experiment with what works, what doesn't work, constantly die. But these few initial ones are actually good. So we must enjoy the serene quality of these. Let's take a look at the research. Next up, we'll go into the crossroads, and on the crossroads, it's usually good if you have a soldier. And the serial farming is also really, really good, but you cannot have both while uh, going for some logistics as well. Uh, Huntress Meadow is, it only says it's one difficulty, but it's actually insanely difficult mission. There are 
executives all over the edges and there are no choke points. So the map, map is insanely difficult. Usually you want to go for very compact city there. Just go with farming and make sure that you just uh, don't have to deal with the whole map. We also allocate the point for our hero and we will get him attack speed because he is really powerful already so if he shoots faster it's better. Take a look. So we have 370 points that's not that much. If we grab the wood workshop it would bubble up most of my points. I could go for workshop and farming but then we wouldn't have soldiers. And just going for the workshop and then don't go for the soldier. Oh, like the workshop itself only gives you access to better houses. That's good for population density. But I'm not, sh I'm not sure. Maybe it would be better to go... Uh, go for the lower thing first, so soldier, logistics and gold transportation, that can be insanely powerful. Problem might be that without wood houses, people actually struggle to hunt in this mission. But it should be possible, so let's get it. We are at the third left. Go to the crossroads. Research is very important. The choices you make will determine if you can or cannot beat certain missions at uh, the point where you actually need to beat them. As your campaign is on the hardest, it's very, very hard. You need to make sure that you invest the research properly, otherwise, you just die. Let's get some initial tents rolling. Scout out the back area. Okay, there is a group already and quite a big one. So in this mission, it's a bitch mission because it's, uh, the stone is absolutely infested. So you cannot get a single soldier out or a ranger out before you clean that. It's insanely annoying. So we'll have to just slowly creep in with our rangers and try to clear it out while having just one of them taken care of this. It's not good. And there are no hordes scheduled but small groups of runners will come from the edges and even bigger groups that are not announced will come from the edges. So that can be also really annoying. Mm, we'll need... Uh, will we get the train soon? I think yes. So the train will bring us 200. We'll need to make sure we have 300 left. So that's fine. Good get a hunting hut. That one would be 17. Certainly good. And we will have a lumber camp in here, so no hunter in here anyway. Means we will keep this one going, so we can have that one a little bit later. Okay, let's move up. Spread the uh, rangers out, so they don't draw too much attention. Themselves. Drop down the sawmill. Okay, let's help out with this guy. Stone is absolutely infested. Mm. Need to slowly start chipping away at that. Okay, now we have some extra gold, but no food left. We'll have to make another hunter. Uh, question is, does this one impact the availability of this one? I guess we'll give it a shot. Once this one is built, we'll just slip down some extra tents. It's a problem. They are actually approaching from here as well with uh, 
Charla big kiddo. That's not good. Let's catch them. Let's move this guy up. Let's juggle them around until we can get some stone. Here we have some money. Consider what next. Uh, we have some wood. Wood invest into pylon. Uh, question is, do we really need one currently? I don't think so. Get some plants instead. Some more money and try and get another hunter. If we want another one, it would have to go here, which is fine. Okay, let's move them in. They are idle, which is horrible. You don't want your rangers to be ever idle. Your initial ones, that is. I'm losing out on experience, otherwise. You'll need a mail, probably before we do much else with the stone. Uh, so we might as well just make one. And let's make one here. Well, have plenty of workers, that will not be an issue, I don't think. Where? Here, that's fine. Okay, we got more money, let's grab a pylon. Uh, question is, where do we want to expand to? And answer is, towards the stone. So, let's place the pylon in here. This is worrying, I need to scout it up, just so that there are no undead coming for the tents. All it takes is like 3 hits from a single decrepit one to infect a tent, and if they infect a building, all the inhabitants will become infected and become the runners, which will then exponentially screw you. So, in order to not have that happen, you need to have patrols everywhere. And we can have a hunter there. This ranger is not doing too hot. Is it gonna be able to handle these? Kill this one. Then let it read a little bit. Okay, what's next? Uh, go with another pylon, straight up. Keep pushing. Stone is not gonna be very secure. But we uh, need to start mining it if we ever want military. And we need the military. Yeah, okay. There's also iron up top, so we'll need to get that if we want soldiers. And we will want soldiers. That's our only like, benefit. Since we grabbed soldiers instead of the cereal farming that the workshop. We need to make use of them. Soldiers can be insanely powerful in it. They also have a bunch of relevant upgrades, so something to consider. Uh, is this safe enough to mine it? I'm not sure. I think we should just start clearing out a few more of these before we do anything else. Should do a runner. Okay, there are these, okay. I kinda need to set up the quarry ASAP, so let's do it. Start making some extra tents. Side as well. Let's take a look at hunting. We can get a reasonable hunter in there. Let's do it. Uh, We'll want to get pylon. Oh, we cannot wait that. That's unfortunate. Get a pylon here to expand towards that forest and potentially up. Uh, 
Okay, there is a uh, undead coming. Let's snipe him before he does more damage. Defend the mine. Yeah, yeah. Probably a runner. How are we doing? Still not great. I would uh, need another ranger up there. Problem is, I cannot afford to leave just two in here. Maybe we'll risk it. It's very important we don't lose because of a sneaky zombie. This might be a problem. <clears throat> Next up, we need the stone, so it's getting extracted. Uh, where? Here, right. Is that I am? Yeah. Guide them. They will try to approach the buildings. We want to head, shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Uh, Serana is gonna be a problem. Let's go back. If this is the start of a big group, might have a problem here. Okay. Add it. Put on that again. Go here. Up. How are you doing on energy? Too bad. Stone is getting mined. Slow down some extra tons. Probably do with another uh, lumber, lumber mill. Let's do it. But it's gonna be a little bit of a problem in here. We probably get another slot in there. And we should get one fairly good one here. Right. And then 12. Let's do it. Soldiers will also want food. They don't no longer cost only wood and gold like rangers. It's gonna be a problem. Can't push too far out because there are a whole bunch of runners in the fog of war there, so that would result in immediate loss of the mine, potentially some of the troops. And then this is really close, so they will just continue steamrolling the base. Need to be real careful. 12 energy is probably not going to be enough for all of our needs, so let's slow down an extra mill. Be ready. Still not enough stone for the barracks. But we should get it. Yeah, one more production cycle. Uh, check out this. They're an approaching that. Doesn't look like it. Going here. Move here. I would like to trigger this one to come at me. One was really in a bad place. She would have come out eventually. And probably when the circumstances wouldn't be so fortunate as now. Better to deal with her. That way. Okay. Oh. Need to wait until the train leaves. Something's going. We'll need the manpower. Uh, we have to go now, so let's we'll start expanding up and maybe even in this direction. Could perhaps get a pylon in here. Yeah, let's get one there. Need to leave some food for the soldiers as well. Gonna be a thing. We have a veteran. Oh. Guard this forest path. Fortunately, we are missing like one ranger to cover this. 
then it would be perfect. Oh, let's get this one to patrol this area. Mm. <sighs> so bad. If paused, I'm just too lenient. I need to be more considerate. We lost a ranger and it's not good. She was a veteran as well. Yeah. Dealing with this will be that much harder. And of course there are a bunch of runners in the woods, so that's why she died. And also this tree was blocking her line of sight. Get some more rangers going. We almost have full treasure, so we should build something. That's something that we an expansion to the hunters and another pylon here here would be great or if we can pull it off without them destroying it right need to produce more workers are really not the problem problem is just getting enough uh, output, so we'll probably want a second barracks. Okay, let's secure this. Okay, right. The next trencher will come here, and we will need this iron. Purple expand towards it. Even though, yeah, there are some zats there, so it's not safe yet. Uh, we have a bunch more food. Let's slip down some extra tons and we'll get a mill as well. Get the mill here. Get a hunter there. Can have a second one. Okay. This is a weapon now. So it was a setback to lose the ranger. Definitely. But yeah, we should recover. Pretty quickly, hopefully. Okay, let's keep this safe. I want to mine it. I mean to consider how many rangers we make in total. We don't want too many. But several of them here. Great right to defend against the runners that are constantly gonna come. And probably like three of them here. Strongly considering making second barracks, but ah, it just feels like I cannot afford it yet. Get the mine going. Let's take a look. Make a hunter. Okay, we can get done there. There, not much. Something. So let's get some food that way and. We have the wood and we could make sure that this is walled off. Keep a ranger there. Another one. Mm, we are getting attacked. Yeah, right. Almost died again. This path is lethal. All the runners. Uh, tells me we need to keep two of them in here actually. So let's do that. Let's take a look at the barracks. Put down a second one here. Now we have a bunch of food. So get more people. We need taxes to support soldiers. They are very expensive. Get another uh, ranger in there. Probably the third one. That should make it safe forever. Another ranger. Attention. 
Got milk. And probably a few more tents. Send this ranger here. Juggle them around a little bit. We have some iron now, so let's start making soldiers. And we'll need a whole bunch of them. Take a look at this location. We'll make just a wall. Like this. <clears throat> Send the rangers behind it. Might still be dangerous. If they start knocking on it, it might draw in attention of many, many more. So we are not uh, safe yet. But we will deal with that eventually. Just start making soldiers. Keep another ranger in here. This is worrisome. We will need to expand that actually. Eventually. Juggle the rangers around. We can make sure we have more. Uh, produce one more ranger. And then soldiers. Actually struggling a little bit with gold still, but we should get more people soon. And with the extra gold from the train, it should be affordable. Keep making troops. Keep the rangers together. There is no risk of drawing them in. This is the end of the map. But they will come from there anyway. So we need to keep an eye out. This ranger will go here. Four soldiers is not nearly enough. I can attempt to just uh, run in here and see what's there. Maybe draw in a few runners. We'll need to build a pylon here. They're actually now low on food, or more correctly, totally out of food. We'll need to make a hunter somewhere where it's not claimed yet. Might be a challenge. Find a place like that. Could get some drags from here. Then it's not too bad. But we cannot build there because the forager is blocking it. Okay, let's just get it here then. Fine, it's nine soldiers. It's quite a uh, quite a bit. Fortunately like expansion here is limited by what we can yeah. So not available at. Let's get this walled off as well. Mm, we'll need another ranger just to make sure there is somebody standing guard here. Keeping this safe uh, is gonna be a problem because once we start clearing this area out, the zombies will actually try to run in, I think. It will be a problem. Okay, the hunter is almost done. It'll allow us to make a few more. Soldiers. Any more? Could get somehow. And yeah, now there is a group coming. They're gonna constantly threaten us like that. How many troops? Eight. Uh, when we get like 12, we'll move out. How many citizens do we need? 400? Not too bad. Problem will be the space. Order. Problem. Yeah, now we have the runners. Okay, we have prepared. So we are safe. Any orders? 
It's another ranger. Keep her there. Ten units. Uh, slightly more is needed. If you want to do it safely. You check something in the meantime. Few more soldiers. I think like fourteen is a good number. Be fairly safe. But it's not entirely safe. I don't remember how many there are. Might be too much. And if it is too much for them, it might be impossible to stop them easily. So there is a risk involved in that. So after this round, uh, round we'll get two more. Let's send them to support. But in the meantime, let's send our 15 up here and here. When soldiers turn veteran, they are actually very, very powerful. But they do uh, a lot of noise, so it draws in crowds. Send these two in. It'd be good if we could get another hunter. Thinking no, no, don't think I can squeeze one anywhere. Maybe in here, watch one for six. Let's get two rangers in the meantime. And yeah, we are getting gnomed a little bit. So let's retreat into this choke point and try to fight them here. The soldiers do have high armor, but it's not impenetrable. So they will eventually will whittle them down. And yeah, we are even getting some executives taking us. Oh, that's pretty bad. Come on. You're yeah, not, not terrible so far. But we definitely had just enough to stop it from going horribly. Soldiers, please. Send the rangers in. Okay, start shooting this again. Like this wall is safe, so it's good. Correct as intended. I'm sure there were a few regulars going that direction as well. Okay, we are at the crossroads. To keep uh, standing here for a while, kill them when they come out. Expand this in the meantime and keep producing soldiers. Okay, we can keep the rangers here. Just to uh, sort of wall this off with people. This ranger is enclosed in soldiers. Come on, send her out. Okay, now send the troops here. There will be some goodies for us. Okay. Yeah, we are not out of the woods yet. Let's get another one of these. Uh, you'll need to utilize this area already, so let's get a hunter there, and another one there. More soldiers, one. Send him up. Should get some veterans pretty soon. Might get the attention of some others, yeah. 
Looks like a Jeff. Oh, that's a chunky horde. Okay, let's fight them. Breaking through there, that's fine. They are not really breaking through. Should get some veterans here pretty soon, so that will help out the damage output quite a bit. Fortunately, the executive is there beating on my ranger. It's pretty bad. We need to help these guys out. They are not suited for dealing with armored infected. Okay, that held, so it's fine. Make more soldiers. Also need to slap down some extra tents. Might as well do it. Okay. More rangers, send them here. There are some stone, but we have full stone. It's not really worth anything currently. This is gold. We could mine it potentially, but it's not really valuable currently. We are able to produce whatever we want. We need to fulfill the population requirement, which will be the food we'll get from the boxes around. We could also build houses in here. This is uh, useless for hunting because it's the mud. So it's okay to use it for expansion. It's not very safe, but it has to do. Be able to kill these as they approach. Probably get a bunch more veterans. Yeah. Okay, more soldiers. Send them here. Do that. Let's get another pylon. Yeah, there are some guys in the back as well. It's not too great. Go here. Pledge them. Let's clear everything of infected. Any orders? So we'll want another bell. Pretty soon. Okay. Start heading this way. And go directly here. Make sure we protect this with the rangers. There'll be some extra people. Make a few more tents. Let's take a look at Huntress. Looks like at 149 in here. Do that. Just make more tents. Now we're getting some veterans here. Good. Okay. Mm, need some more people. Which means more food. So I'll have to utilize the forests here. You can probably mine some gold if you really want to. Get a mel. We got two extra tents in here. Okay, this is getting a little hairy, so just take it more slowly. Get the reinforcements there and be okay. Yeah, this is a lot of uh, emblems, so that's okay. Let's take a look at food production. 
That is for us here, but we need to expand more with the grid first. Well, I guess you'll get the core. Even though it's not really needed. Keep cleaning this up. Is the objective just reaching 400 people? No, it's destroying the villages of Doom Right, so all the buildings need to go as well. There is some extra food that dropped, so it will support the growth as well. Uh, let's take a look at food. B13. Would that be better if we had this one? Yes. Sometimes you get plus like one or two food, but you screw yourself in the long run by placing it one tile closer. It will disallow you to place another one very efficiently. Not just about the one you are currently placing. Also about coverage of the other ones. Start making some tents. Okay. Any more food. There's some energy. Yeah, grab that. Of course, my commander. Is everything okay? All the way. Reporting for duty. It's okay. This is just a uh, single group. I think it's okay. I hope it's okay. If we get a breach, uh, it would be horrible. Let's reposition this guy. Oh yeah, they are probably gonna breach here. Let's just move the soldiers in. This is gonna spread, inevitably. It's gonna be bad. Move the rangers. Keep the soldiers here, we don't want them to infect the tents. Okay, let's go towards the tents. Rex is fine. This one will get infected, but uh, we don't want them to spread to the tents. Main concern. Should have enough to deal with the infection. Go and destroy that. Okay, we have a problem. That is a big problem. Let's go. Yeah, right. Managed to destroy that. How are you doing on the rest of the structures? We'll repair that. They're almost victorious. We need like eight more people. So that would be a few more times. Just slot them will in LR and cat. Try to clean up this. Was this group the random one that came? You get more and more obnoxious as the time goes on, so I didn't really feel like investing more than we already did into that wall. Fortunately the soldiers were ready to intercept. This train is gonna complete the mission. Okay, it's done. Next up we have the Alpha Communication Center, which is a, uh, you know, mission. GG, says Super Cheese. Yeah, I quite like that mission actually, the last one we did. From here it's gonna be just Pain and suffering though. We are never going to make as much progress as we did uh, on the first session of the long play. Because the missions will grow exponentially harder. I need to make some tough choices as well later on. We only have 150 research, that's not even enough to unlock the houses, so we'll need to 
First go into the Alpha Communication Center and then get 250 more. That will be enough for this and then 160 so you'll get cereal farming so we can complete the Hunter's Clearing mission. It's still gonna be a pain even after we get that so yeah and actually for yeah next up after that we'll probably go the Ghost of Bones and then Cape of Doom or whatever it's called Cape Fear it's just a insane mission and we can beat the mission only if we go directly for this after we uh, get some research going that would be the shocking part Okay, so let's go into the communication center. It's gonna be tough. Sometimes I lose this, I think, because uh, I overestimate or underestimate the final area. And there are a bunch of holes that actually spawn infected and lastly. But it should be good. Take it careful. this. Take a look at something. That is a crate, so there could be some grenades in it. Uh, open it up. It's a random crates. Okay, four grenades. Good. In this mission, we will be introduced to the Chungus, I think. Start clearing out these. Not sure if there is anything here. Probably not. Always good to clear your back though, if you can. I don't know what you run into. Understood. That's easy. No. Okay. Deal with these. can be looted, so good. Yes. can take a look how large the map is, so we cleared up this, and then there is all of this. It's gonna be a proper, first proper uh, yes. no build mission. Okay, so and there is a Chungus in there, and not just one, but several, I think. Yes. Instead we should just go here. Uh, this is the barracks, so expect Insane amounts of zets. Try to clear them out with the target micro. Move up. So glad to do it. Let me blow up some heads. So glad to do it. Actually, speed up the speed of attack by just clicking 
because he does not spend time by acquiring a target that way. Otherwise, he has to evaluate the targets, and sometimes he even does a poor job and shoots at a thing that's further away and then lets himself be bitten without no reason. So there is additional benefit to do being more safe in general. What? Another uh, hole. Punch that crate. Just kill these few. Then we'll go out. No reason to stand by the hole too much. They're gonna just endlessly come from there. In this next corridor, I suspect there will be a bunch of uh, runners. So grenade hotkey is G. Okay. Open up. There's actually a barricade. I think we should be able to deal with them even without a grenade. Saving it is actually great because the uh, end area of this mission is absolutely insane. So having extra grenades there is very very important and valuable. Open up this room. Okay, let's move here and underestimate that. Or rather, I didn't remember properly what's there, so almost bad. There is a crate. We'll search it. For the glory of Quintus. Anything more? Okay, a med kit. Anything more? Open up this. This is gonna be the shooting range. Yeah, this is like assault rifles and targets, right? Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. For the humans. Those heads are calling for a book. For the humans. So glad to do. Need to deal with all of these. It's gonna be a little tedious. This part is. Yeah, this is gonna be the worst because we are alone, so. Clearing speed is very low. But we need to always make sure we don't miss anything. So it's a pain to then go and search every single little bit of the area for the last piece of research or money. It can be looted. For the humans, they're already dead. Those heads are calling for a bullet. Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. Those of these. Okay, there are two more. For these. Uh, after this, yeah, there is the open area, and then there are the pipes. The pipes are horrible because there will be a whole bunch of runners in there, and they are always trouble. <laughs> Even if you manage it properly. And we don't want to use grenades if it can be helped. That's the thing. Okay, yeah, let's start by clearing up this horde of emblems. Like that's everything from there, all this shambler. These are the ones coming from the hole, they are gonna follow me all around the facility. So there's nothing we can do about that apart from just moving quickly. Do not have to deal with too many. Need to clear everything because there is stuff here. I think this is not viable. 
and if we even want to have like a remote chance of beating the campaign, we need every single piece of research we can get. So strange how in their buildings the campaign actually is uh, structured so that the first missions, like apart from the two initial ones, are actually harder than some of the late game missions where you actually have the tools to deal with everything. Right now we are so limited that uh, just need to make sure we grab the correct research, otherwise we'll just die. We try to deal with the runners. And lose a little how. Don't care about that much. But this is too much. Run. Yeah, that's tough. Run behind the sandbags. Please. Yeah, hey Jake, welcome. Of course, we are playing the campaign. The best part of this game, unlike the RNG generated scenarios with RNG mares. But, uh, yeah. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. I think if, if a person is as lucky as you are in most games, it actually can be fun. Understood. Not so much for me, though. I'll always get the worst kind of things at all times. And the luck is involved. But much rather get the hard research tree. Of course, we are playing on 800 uh, percent. Need to clear this group. Then go here. Pipes, uh, that'll be a bunch more. So I need to make sure we take it slowly. Yeah, they will run from everywhere. Let's just take a step back again. Used a medkit yet, so okay. I hit there. But there is no reason to lose more health unnecessarily, so let's go behind the sandbags again. Dispose of these. At least the uh, runners should be more spread around now. So you should be able to kill the groups uh, like quickly. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. No fear. Of course, those heads are calling for a bullet. It looks like they actually spread around quite a bit. That might be slightly too much still. Depends on the focus on Oops. Like they actually come piecemeal. Not too bad. Okay, that is another guy. Done. This is empty. It's a bummer. 
Might be something in this room instead. And we are like halfway through the facility, I think. Progress is not too bad. Okay, a whole bunch of runners. Actually shoot into the crowd if possible. Ah. Looks like we have to use a med kit. Right. It's not great. This is great with some chair. Open up this. Empty. Everything is empty. Maybe there will be a bunch of stuff in the end room. This one. This randomized where you get the stuff. But the amount is always the same. Stick to this side. Right. Both of these are actually things. Let's get that. That will be the final area. Be inside. Let's go here first. There might be a bunch of runners in here. Yeah. Do a grenade. Go in. Collect the barrel. Open up. Take the snipers. Go there. These are the elite snipers, so they will be pretty good. But not nearly enough to deal with what's under, uh, or not under, what's uh, behind the gate in the final area. But it's gonna help with the chungus that's in the kitchen, or rather the star room. Okay, it looks like we have everything from here. So far only 20 empire points. But we have half of the research ready. Pretty good. There are no saves in this game, so we are not gonna be using any saves. And even if there were, we probably wouldn't do it. Saving is bad for streaming. Let's keep them on hold position. Open up. Go in, drop the barrel. Go back. Throw a grenade. It's a lot of runners in there. Throw another one. Might be slightly too much still, so that's that's why we were saving them. No, it's just drags, so we'll have to wait around until we shoot them. Then there will be a whole bunch more. So we need to get clever with the drawing out. Okay, these are just uh, chamblers. Well, That's a whole bunch of them. Uh, throw a grenade. This one there. This one there. And we need to keep one for the final area. Let's go here and grab the battle. Move the snipers here. Uh, still a lot. Might be slightly too much to deal with. We'll see. Oh, this looks like a manageable group, actually. Leave them to their task. Search this. Get 
picked up. Okay. Just keep dealing with them as they approach. This should be manageable. Still. Might run into trouble on the other side. They will back to there like sardines, and we only have one grenade left. It's not amazing. If they come around this way, it could get pretty dangerous. Just throwing them out. We'll go and drop a deck somewhere of the battle. It looks like they are actually coming on their own, so I guess that's preferable. Yeah, it's gonna clear out this area pretty well. But taking a look at the corner, I will tell you that there is a whole bunch more stuff. Put the battle here. Shoot the battle. Move up. Should have dealt with a whole chunk of them, but there is more. How they are drawn out. Like groups are still moving. So preferable. Hey Karim, welcome. Commander. Now we are playing actually a good game. Not like yesterday. Where we played uh, diplomacy is not an option. Or aka they are definitely not villains. Uh, no, it is not an option, but it, nor should it be, it's that, right? And it's actually a good game. Mm, might be slightly too much, we'll see. I think it's okay. Loot that great. Just one grenade left, I want to keep it for the final area. That's a campaign, I've heard people saying it's... complete shit. Well, people have been saying it, but I have a different opinion. I love the campaign. I love it much, 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 much more than the RNG generated scenarios. And I like the design, I like the research tree, because it's very limited. It can absolutely screw you over if you research wrong stuff. There are things that are like baits, they sound good on paper, but if you research them, the entire campaign is botched because there is no research reset button. So you pay for your mistakes, you have to live with horrible things you do. And the difficulty is just insane, which is great. Especially on 800% as we are playing it, that should be played, the only viable difficulty. Shamblers. Yeah, the random maps are horrible. Uh, like uh, there are this, there is an argument for a game like Age of Empires where the random map is good for uh, player versus player because it is always something new when you explore the fog of war with the scout. You just always uh, like scout something new, so it feels good, but in games like this it's just resource generation is random, so clips and choke points, everything is randomized, I don't like that one bit. I like the carefully, thoroughly designed maps, where the developers actually plan where you are supposed to set up and everything, I like that much more. So yeah, I bet you would actually enjoy the campaign. Of course you don't have to play it on the hardest difficulty, but I would recommend it personally. I think it provides the best experience and it's definitely manageable if you don't do stupid stuff. Uh, you could also do save state uh, saves, so there is a way to uh, save your progress, like a campaign file, and then load it up if you really don't want to um, do something bad. So you could have a backup in case something backfires, right? 
Mm. It's just my opinion, I'm not sure if you find any, uh, if I find any kindred spirits. Uh, I definitely like it. I like it a lot. I played through it like at least six times. The story is also good for the first time, I like it. With this battle, for the Emperor. throw it in the door. Ah, uh, gonna be tough. Oh, let's go. Throw the nade. Clean up the rest of them, and then we'll do the shit on Lotus. And actually, since this is all safe now, we'll just send the snipers in advance to clear towards the storeroom here. Okay, so this is safe, right? Okay. Start looting. Cannot miss a single thing. Be thorough. There is sometimes like a bottle, that's also something, so... Ah, uh, yeah, have to be thorough. Exceptions, exception of hero missions. Hero missions are great, make no mistake, there are upgrades for the heroes, and if you do them correctly, you will be insanely powerful, even on the highest difficulty. Looks like we are missing a little bit of research and empire points. My bet is it's gonna be in the final star room area. Usually it's pretty rich, so I expect it to be there. If not, then we are gonna have to scour this place for any objects. Might be containing anything, which might not be great. Let's hope everything is there. Ok, let's move. Clean this up. Let's fill. Ok, let's go towards this. Uh, no need to actually use the sandbags, I don't think, since we have the snipers now. Let's open the door. Yeah, Chunguses. Shoot the Chunguses. Uh, let's go liberate some of the good stuff. There is a battle. Search it. There's uh, gold stuff, so look to that. Empire points are full. Still need 30 research. Okay, that is everything. On your orders, Commander. Try to check my phone real quick. Okay, nothing important. Uh, so this was a breeze, no loss just yet, actually, I haven't died a single time, which is uh, amazing for me, since this is on a hard rest. Uh, yeah, let's close this. But next up is gonna be the real pain, so that will be the Hunter's Meadow. Hunter's Meadow is... I think it's harder than some of the three skull missions. But it might be just my... Personal opinion. Uh, let's go into the hero that. Let's upgrade his damage. And for the research, we'll need to get uh, the workshop. We'll need to get cereal farming, and we have 40 research left. 
the hero mission, uh, missions all felt too easy and under, unentertaining. Further made worse by them being necessary. Yeah, they are very much necessary, but it depends what difficulty have you been playing them on. Because uh, it can feel like a slog, some of the missions are pretty big, so you need to clear every single zombie from everywhere, so it can take uh, quite a bit of time and I can see why that's not great. I just like that I can get some research out of it, so it feels meaningful compared to some of the other games which just do no build missions that don't provide you with anything. But yeah, I, I think the... like, of course the missions where you get to build stuff are... of course they are better. Yes, you can adjust difficulty by permission basis. But you shouldn't if you want uh, the achievements, right? <laughs> if you are uh, after those but yeah if you want all the achievements you actually need to win the game on hardest with a full score and actually how this works is if you fail a mission it will permanently subtract the amount of victory points you get for that mission so if you die in some missions a lot it will disable you being able to get the best achievement uh, even on hardest difficulty you just need to be that good to not die almost at all if you want the best stuff which is fine yeah it, it really emphasizes that uh, uh, only the best of the best should get it but as I said there is a way to save scam but it's really dishonorable so you have to go into the files of the game and actually pull them out like the campaign I guess it's fine if you want to make like uh, in each quarter of the campaign make like global save that you can go back into if you really want to go back to do some reshuffling with the research but if you just save it before a mission and just come try it over and over again with loading files it really feels like a scumbag doing that i've tried it it works but it's not fun so not doing that uh Okay, I'll have to just quickly go grab something, so I'll leave you with this first page of the lore and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the delay. And leave you with this page just for a second. Take a drink. Okay, just a second if anybody is sitting in that. grabbed the research so now we need to go to Hunter's Meadow which is the first uh, proper hard mission so there are also modifiers on each mission you play so in this one you get plus food generation for all hunters cottages and farms population goal is the highest yet so that's uh, 600 people and we have time limit, so it's 48 days, that's completely fine. Go in. This one is... triggering. There are very, very few choke points. And a lot of infected on the entire map. Let's grab the initial tents. Mm, what you need to do first is send these to there, one of them to the stone, one of them to here. Go ahead and go there. This needs to defend the stone, this one needs to start defending this area. Yeah, the iron is actually unclaimed, I think. It's in the carpet, that's fine. Yeah, a lot of ground to cover, not nearly enough troops to do it. We'll need these resources. Start defending. Get some experience with these. Then we'll run in and get the resources from there. Our first train will be able to get a lumber camp, so let's get it. Get a hunter there. Not get a second one yet, but can we get two more tents, so let's do it. Okay. After we kill this one guy, we'll grab the resources. Uh, patrol here actually, or actually I go up here. Now set up a patrol. This guy needs to patrol there. Patrols are really not very reliable when done like that, but there is not much else we can do currently, so we just have to do Make do with what we have. Collect this. And we'll be setting up another patrol here. Then you'll need one up here. Start making some more tents. You'll probably want a mill here. here. Just scout this. Bunch of zuts, oh, let's put them down a little bit. Oh, let's move up a little bit more. Let's put the patrol like this. Somebody is sending a message again. Okay. We have some money, so let's take a look. We have 15 energy left. Not enough. We'll get some more workers soon. Might be necessary to make some tents here, but I don't really want to. Would be great to expand here instead. 
But first we need to get this stone. So first pile on this stone here. And you'll actually build it here because this tile does not really matter. You cannot build side by side with the tracks anyway. No reason. Worry about that single spot. Okay, let's send the archer here. Great idea. No, I'm just kidding. Gotcha. Okay, that is the crepet. Apparently all the messages today. Sorry for that, I'll have to deal with that so we don't have any disturbances. Okay, it should be taken care of. Uh, take a look. If you want to build tons here, it will flash the hunter's income a little bit. But it might be worth it. Probably just have them here. That would be better. Alright, so we have them all on patterns of patrol. But that is not great. We'll need a barracks to. or soldier center to quickly set up a proper defenses. Okay, the pylon is done. Let's build a quarry. Need to consider where we want it. We want it to be incoming five. That would be a sawmill, probably. Oh, there. That's okay. Mm, might want some extra tents. Okay, right, uh, send him up, send her up, uh, and patrol, like this. Okay, we have two big fellows, so... Uh, let's fill the black ships again, I guess. It's very tedious. Sometimes they come in, like, several at a time. So... Father. Let me check this, actually. The chat and yeah, the chat can be moved a little bit. We can even make it a little smaller. I think it was too big. Okay, should be better. Now we have more money. Uh, just five energy, six energy left. That's not enough. Move this mail actually. Let's move it here. We we'll need some extra food. Problem is that is not safe. So we cannot get it. Um, could get some food out of this eventually, but it's always better to have it near a forest. So I probably will wait until we can get a pylon first. Worker wise, we have 15. You'll get how many are per tent? Six more. The workshop is gonna require 10 workers. That's insane. Uh, yeah, not gonna get that. That he should get the soldier center first. first. Expand to this wood line, make some more food. More tents, then expand to the workshop. Or make a workshop rather. Okay, so we can make the pylon, so let's build it here, I guess, a good spot for it. And if you want to expand the tents, it would be best to have one there, so let's get working on that. Yeah, not getting much experience, but on this map specifically, uh, we cannot venture out, there are just so many runners and so many executives around that if you trigger them, there is no way you are stopping that, so... That we just have to lay low and try to expand in the center instead of clearing the whole map, as we usually do. It's the only chance. 
Okay, the tower is done. Uh, should consider making the sawmill, or we could just do this. Yeah, it's probably better. We'll yield some extra food, and from here, for sure. I don't really have an interest in expanding there, it's very exposed. The unit is under attack, let's take a look. It's a runner. Fine. There are some around here, so it was expected to encounter one at some point. We actually have enough to build a soldier center, so let's do it. We have more food, so we'll be grabbing some extra tents. Get more. Let's do it here. That's probably not gonna be enough for everything that we might need, but getting more food is enough. Another runner. Could potentially expand here, but it's not safe. I cannot justify it. If they crunch a building, everything is gonna come running into the city, so. Need to really be careful. Don't want a uh, mail yet. Might want to go for the workshop pretty soon. Okay, let's do it and let's do it here. Need to patrol up here more. Okay, let's uh, let's set up the patrol order a little differently this time. I hope no zombie is gonna punch this, otherwise it's gonna instantly turn into executives <laughs> when it's under construction. Would be horrible. Now we might actually do it a mill, probably, if we get to foot. The creepage are coming. I really didn't want to do this whole mill yet, but we have to. Do a regular mail as well. Recruit few rangers. Yeah, the situation with deserts is just gonna get worse, so we just have to make military presence. Otherwise we are not gonna survive. We also need a bunch of energy, wood and gold. We'll need a farm, otherwise you're just never gonna have the food you need. You know, justify making random hunters in the meadows. A search of farm. First order of business. Okay, we have the <coughs> ranger. Uh, that would be here, just to shorten this patrol route. You will patrol here. You will do a better job now, patrolling here. Another ranger. Send her up here. You will patrol from all the way over here to here. More rangers. Okay, that was a mistake, I think. Yeah, runner. Okay, so the patrol goes right there. Just let her stand here, I think. For now. Okay, we have another ranger. 
send her to this location. What do you want now? This one do I can send her here. Yeah. Do it like this. I hope you're not wasting my time. Okay, great. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Gotcha. Pop all that. You have a problem. These are runners. Kill this one. Almost dead. Otherwise it would regenerate even when running. Hold that. Another one needs to be on top. We have to search the farm, right? Yeah. Uh, let's get a farm going. How much food can we get out of this? So it looks like 84 here, so let's get it. Throw this. We sh uh, I think we shouldn't go for the iron, just straight up go for mass farms and mass stunts and win the, win the missions as fast as possible. Should research this uh, wood house. Go for more rangers. We'll need some tons soon, so after the farms are finished, you know, get on that. Maybe we'll even have the cottages available. It'd be preferable to just upgrade what we have, but might not be possible. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, let's set up a new patrol here and here. We have another one, let's send her up here as well. We need to set up stationary guards soon because the attacks are gonna start coming, so we need to make sure that we can deal with uh, like a group of three runners at once. Because that's gonna happen from all sides eventually. So some of these patrols with one guy are just gonna get overwhelmed really quickly if you don't prepare for it. Yeah, let's just make more tents here. That's gonna be fine. We'll need to expand here anyway. Yeah, it's okay. Make more. Uh, set up another ranger in here. I'll set up stationary guards instead of moving ones now. They should support each other, so set them up like this. It's almost done. We should. Maybe we'll get some workers now. It's good. Good. We'll get a pylon on the other side of the forest. Now let's post another guard here. This edge of the forest is gonna act as a place where we can hold them. It's bad actually. Oh, I think it's gonna lose. Leave it. Okay, there's a patrolling unit. Set it up again. Upgrade the tons. Ah, uh, yep. I think this is the first group, right? So we're gonna have problems. Send these two guys. Just hold this. Send one here. <laughs> Gonna be a problem if you don't deal with that. Okay, let's start to do these. Okay, dealt with them. These were the guys that killed the ranger before. Pretty mean. Uh, set another guard here. Everything is researched from there. Let's upgrade. Let's go for a sawmill if we can. Uh, it would be horribly inefficient. Mm, it's okay. I can just grab like a hunter in here. Two of them. Okay. So how much we need? We just need 600 population. What's gonna happen eventually? Uh, looks like we need another male 
soon as possible. So it will be when the train arrives, we'll get bigger income from the houses. You actually get more as the houses get better as well. It's not just the amount of people in it, it's the tier that's uh, affecting the tax rate. Get that. Another ranger. So they're here. This is the dangerous area, I think. Just cannot afford to leave this open. Where is the ranger? Stuck, right? Yeah. Send her there. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back, so let's take a look. Uh, I need to make more guards. Just make this line of units everywhere. We are not gonna use walls, because if they knock on the walls, it will draw an insane amount of enemies. This side actually looks the weakest now. But here it's all executives everywhere, so cannot afford to clear it. Instead, we'll just post guards and eliminate individuals as they come in. What do you want now? Keep uh, upgrading. We'll have a whole bunch of food, so the problem is just getting enough wood to upgrade all the houses. Could also go for some tents. But tents are really vulnerable, so if we expand too much, we cannot have any leeway in retreating. Be a threat. Make few more guards. Let's get this one up here. Split them into stationary positions. Move up slightly. So this one. Okay, starting to look up a little bit. Let's keep one there, keep one here. We'll need a third one here. So we are at 214 population out of 600. Fortunately, the farms actually increased uh, population as well. It's gonna be something we'll want to invest into. So each farm is plus 12 colonists. Need to strongly consider expanding here. I think getting another sawmill is basically impossible for me right now. So, unless we make some suboptimal choices with its placement. We could get one that would get five. Not that big. It's probably as good as it get other. It's gonna get unless we expand here. Let's do it. Get the tower there. We actually are running, running low on energy as well. That's a concern. Okay, let's make a mill. Need to find a good spot for it. One that would not interfere with. The hunter is too much, preferably. Get it here. Maybe have a uh, hard guard there, so. 
like few more. Keep them here and then distribute them probably here. This is the last patrol route. So keep one there. Then shorten this route. Okay, there is an attack again. Okay. This star is gonna be completed very soon. And we grab a sawmill. Unfortunately, this one is disabling it. Uh. Get the five on them. Okay, another ranger. Let's send her here. And here are some whistling arrows, so they are clearing them as they approach. Preferable. Need another guard there. Let's make one. As the train arrives, we'll get more and more people. We'll need a bunch more wood. Maybe you want an extra layer of tents, actually. Buff up the population quickly. Might consider. Oh, yeah, now we are getting attacked quite heavily. Hey, where are they? Here. This is almost a dead one. Three runners. Okay, four runners. So this is bad. We need to retreat. Just retreat and let the rest of them stop. They were thrown in, apparently. Post one there. Could be really bad. Fortunately, we didn't have anything here. Otherwise, it would have been worse. Great that. Uh, that's fine. Need another uh, mill. Grab it there. So, yeah, population should be looking up as the train arrives. But we'll probably need to invest into some more stuff. Uh, but it's kind of scarce. Got the star. Right, yeah, that boosted us. We are almost at half what we need. That would be several farms and some houses. That we're gonna cover what we need. Wood is looking kind of low, so build a farm. Sturdy wood. Actually, the hunters also provide like plus two. Yeah, right. So we could probably get some hunters just to fill in space, but hunters can gather from fields, so let's get them like on the edges, yeah. Could be worth our while for the few colonists it gets. Hunters do not cost any wood, so it's good. Unfortunately, rangers do cost wood. Alright, uh, we attacked again. But we need another ranger there. We want it to be secure. Let's cancel one of the rangers actually. Build ourselves another farm. Probably where it's the most efficient. There. There, there. Attention. 
making rangers. Yeah, let's take a look. There are there. We need another one up here. Need to make them more dense so they can take care of threats. Three hundred and thirty-two. We'll get some more from these houses, but we'll need more. Get another mill in here. Let's make a house. Okay, we have another arranger. Set it up there. Okay, another one. Send her there. House. Tents. Might want to get an extra farm and a mill. Wood is the problem, but we cannot reasonably get a sawmill, so to slowly expand with what we have here. Send the ranger there. Okay, another farm. Put it down there. We'll need a mill. How many is that? 368. I want to build it there, but build it here. Great. Might want some extra hunters for elation. few of them around here. Attention. Building Need to consider where to build, so probably just grab a pylon in here. Uh, problems, right? This is another group coming. And that's a big one. Uh, it's a problem. I need to deal with this. How are we going to deal with this? Okay, let's send these there. Where is the other group? Checking us here, right? Yeah. Fine. Okay, let's keep these together. Where is that? Here, okay. Kill this, please. Guide them. Here, please, do your job. Okay, spread them out again. And let's do again. Okay, do we have more? Just like we have one. Send her here. How do we do one population? 404. Right, we'll need some extra houses.
need to make absolutely sure they don't threaten us much. Which of these provides plus eight? We have some more upgraded ones. Should probably do upgrades of the tents. Taking a look at this, we'll probably need a mill as well at some point. It's gonna suck because it's a bunch of wood that we currently don't have a lot of. Chip these around a little bit, make them better. The gold is capped, stone is capped, just need the wood. Two more houses. We'll get to around 500 with what we have here. It will be 100 more. And the mill. We done. Let's get one there. Try to get some extra hunters here and there just for the population density. Attention. Building complete. Don't really want to build here, this is the kind of place. Keep making these. I think all of our tents are actually upgraded. We have 50 wood houses. Make more. Will be a whole bunch more people. <laughs> yeah, 490. Need 110 more. This would be like 90. 90 more people. So, slap down some extra cottages where we can. Let's take this, expand here. More rangers, so let's just increase the density again. Attention. Building completed. It's gonna be rough if we get attacked now with a bigger group. Might be very very hard to deal with that. Can get an extra house here, yeah. Okay, uh, that's a group, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's close to our stuff. Horrible. Uh, do some kiting. Where's the other attack? Here. Fine. That's a whole bunch of runners. Okay, where is the other attack? Still here. Okay. Four of these. Wait a bit. 
Okay, we managed to hold them off. So, 554. Add 8, 16, 24. Just a few more houses, and we should be good to go. Probably enough, even without building another mill. Need to make sure we have them before the next train arrives, which means we should go for tents. They do build significantly faster. Any real estate? Good enough. I think this is gonna be it. I haven't died here, so that's uh, puzzling. I usually die several times during this mission, I think. It can still happen. Before the last train arrives. Is it gonna be enough? It should. Yeah. Good. Mission is horrible. So that will unlock yet another no build mission. And the Mines of the Raven, which is blocked off by a swarm. Okay, so before we invest uh, research we should probably do the no build mission. Let's go in. Orders from the Empire? I think I might actually take a short break. Well, let me just check something real quick. Then we can continue. This map is Weapons Factory. I think this is a pretty big one. There are gonna be some autonomous turrets. That uh, will be helpful. A whole bunch of Chungus's. Over. If I remember correctly. And that is probably gonna be way all the way around the facility. So you should explore first before venturing in. Scrounge up any grenades and anything like that. With the damage boost we got last uh, level up, he should be actually able to kill executives in one direct hit. So the splash is probably not gonna kill them, uh, but direct hit is gonna do that. That should prove useful. I don't think. Okay. Yeah, that is a crate. For the humans. Great value. For grenades. Come on. For the humans. All right. This is going to be fun. Of course. Of course. Perfect. So glad 
We have days. Need to target fire in the more faster. So for Kalos, if you get the, I think it's the second attack speed upgrade, it's actually gonna shoot instantly fast, so it's gonna be great for dealing with swarms of infected. Like when you get a corridor that's just infested, he's gonna be able to clear through it, even if they are uh, the runners. But the second attack speed is locked behind several other stuff we need to get, so probably not gonna be able to get it after this one, but we'll get like the splash radius. He's still pretty good. Okay, max units. Oh yeah, in this mission there will be like a bunch of uh, production lines everywhere, so that's gonna be painful to go through because there will be runners. It's gonna be like the pipe section and the uh, radar, ar radar array or Communication center, however it was called. Come on, the infected are waiting. Great. For the humans. Those heads are calling for a bullet. Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. Maxine. Yeah, let's go here first. Let's go. Will be the autonomous turret section. Yeah, they are gonna be great. Yes. Come on. Come on. For the glory of Quintus. I love it. Need to utilize them properly, which means that we will yes. open up this. Have them deal with these runners for us. They're just gonna gradually come in. Um, so let's take a look at the top. There'll be a whole lot of decrepit. So, that'll be fine. Just go here through them. Okay, and they are reaching me, so let's update a little bit. I'm gonna rely for to take many heads here. Just looking. Great. Looks fairly clean. We'll need to bait some extra infected here. For the Empire. Let's get this uh, battle. The more the merrier. So glad to do. Let me blow up some heads. Getting some hits. It's not great, but it's gonna speed up the clearing process. That'll be a whole bunch of them, I think. Okay. Nice. Search that. Sounds good. For the Empire. Yes. So Might be it on us. Yes, my commander. So Doesn't look like it. So maybe you just want to trigger them on us. No. And it'll blow off the Battle. The party has just begun. No fear. So glad to do it. Shooting the battle now would probably not be too great. No, it's actually worth it, I think. I really need to find a med kit. For the humans. For the empire. Let me blow up some heads. 
So the search. Clean up the rest. There is a hole somewhere. Yeah. They are constantly coming in there if I sell a jagan. Okay. They're just gonna wander into the autonomous turrets, probably. So it's gonna be taken care of. Let's go up. There is a crate to search. Okay, four more grenades. Eight of them is quite the number. Of the areas are going to be pretty dangerous, so yeah. Let's open this up. Okay. Let the turrets do their thing. And we'll go down. As they draw more, they should shoot, right? Eventually, that will draw even more of them. And here in this corridor, you're gonna have to use a grenade, I think. If you don't want the turrets to be overwhelmed. Let's do it. And another one. Okay, the drags should be fine. And target fire, but... I don't really think it's necessary. Okay, just close. Let's let the turrets shoot through them. Mm. Might want to go up first. That's easy. That's easy. For the Empire. For the Empire. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. Okay, mm, looks like a bunch of decrepit in here, so no runners, well, as far as I can see. Be an easy clear. Gonna be the minefield behind that, I think. Okay, there is a whole bunch of them in here, so let's take care of them. Maybe some of these will notice it and. Come to the turrets, which would be preferable than to having to deal with them ourselves. We shoot right next to the wall, it might trigger them with the noise. Could even drop down a keg. Go here. There's that. Attack it. Gonna work. Okay. Okay. Well, make sure we search everything properly. Oh, they don't want to go back. Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. Okay, let's go here now. The barracks is probably gonna be heavily infested with the runners still, so we should probably go there just yet. Mm, it's a lot of decrepit. Take a lot of clearing. Glad to do it. For the 
a little bit more. It would be good to pollute this. Get that. Good kit. You have two on hand. Probably want to use one. Yeah, a slight lower half half. Maybe if we take another hit. More grenades. That's a good find. Start clearing this. Runners. Okay, there should be at least one hole. They will probably be coming to this area constantly. Let's see. I'm sure there will be more runners as well. Is there nothing here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there is a hole. So they are coming to there. Those are runners. Oh, let's throw a grenade. Don't want to deal with that. Clean up the rest. Constantly spawning. Pretty bad. Okay, shoot him. Let's go. Just constant. Let's go over here. Yeah, there's a hole into the minefield area, so let's go there. I don't think the mines are actually triggered by us, but if they explode and we are near them, it is absolutely going to murder me. Use the magic kit. There are gonna be chunguses in here. Open. Throw in a keg. Go 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 go. Uh, yes, moving slightly faster than them, I think. Okay, that didn't kill them all. Move. Okay. Still some left. Perfect. Guys wandering around. What? So. Probably shoot him to trigger a mine. Understood. Let's kill the enemies uh, of the this guy as well. Great. Sounds good. For the shoot him. So if you shoot them and one mine explodes, it's gonna completely like, kill them. The do not. Thanks to our damage upgrade. We got last level up. And more of them? Yes, bunch more of them. Mm, shoot. It's gonna be worth it if we quickly shoot this barrel. Mm, looks like two more. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Let him explode, it's the safest option. Let's go. Sounds good. Hmm. I can hear them in the distance. Come on. Okay. Come on. Another one. And then one more. About what? Oh, a bunch more. Mm -mm. Quite a bit. Uh, is there another barrel? There is one. <laughs> Let's get it. It's gonna be worth it. I 
Interesting. Come on. Sounds good. So we are almost done with the facility, I think. Just the barracks, one production line, and the executive office or workshop or something like that. Let's drop the barrel in here. For the humans. Yes. Mm, okay, one of them is coming too quickly. Sounds good. I think we shot this one, yeah. Let's let him explode. Sounds good. Perfect. That's easy. This one is approaching quickly. So Not good. That's easy. Need to let him explode as well. Slow process, but just cannot deal with 500 HP and 15% armor. Just that. That's easy. Not straight up. Well, four more are left. Be preferable to page them in and then explode the barrel. You just want to go in one by one. It's the worst thing. Okay, so have the Chungus explode. Let's try to deal with this one with the barrel, but I think those two will come at once, so we maybe could explode two of them at least. Now let's take a look at the storeroom. Interesting indeed. Understood. Amazing. This would be useful. That's easy. Go look this. Like everything. Uh, I'm not sure what's behind this door. Oh, the final room, right. Let's use the grenades we have. Why we keep them around. And another one. Missed one crate on the second pile. Thank you, I'll check it out. Just suck. Oh, yeah, this one. Sneaky bugger. It's all I hope not to find a harpy there. Saved me a bunch of trouble there. <laughs> we have to look for it. Perfect. At the end. It's always a bother. When I have to do that. Sounds good. For the Empire. No problem. No fear. Of course. Mm. Oh. Grenade. Let's not have that. And yeah. Like some stuff is in here, so let's start looting. There's something in this corner. No. Sometimes one of these bottles is actually a thing. Not this time, apparently. Now there will be a bunch more in here, right? Yes. That's 
Oh, uh, yeah. Not a bad. Okay. All the Empire points, right? No. Not near like all. Just the uh, artifact. So we are still missing a bunch of research and a bunch of empire points. That could be just one item, or it could be three. But that's not everything yet. There will be the workshop, the barracks and one production line left. So we need to go through the right side of the map still. Uh, let's try and open this door first. We have the mines so we can bait them into it if there is a horde. We also have five grenades left so you should make use of them if there is a huge amount of them. This looks like a group that should be manageable. Mm. This on the other hand is too much. Too much trouble. Uh, but let them run into the mines if we can. I clicked on this freaking sign. Horrible misclick. Yeah, the barracks is quite infested. Let me blow up some heads. We did kill a whole bunch of them and we opened it up from this side, but there is still some in the middle. More? Yeah, let's start by climbing this, I guess. Let's go. For the Emperor. Get that. It's a match kit. Okay. Start to eradicate them. Actually, uh, quite a bit. Let's throw a grenade. Kill them. There is an outside area, so this is a wall that has been broken into. It's fine. Perfect. Excellent idea, sir. Okay, uh, some more. I still have some tricks up Take some damage, but we do have the med kits. Come on. Should be fine. Let's go. Start through this. Perfect. Yes. Doesn't appear to be anything. Yes. Wonderful. Well, Either I'm blind or there is nothing in here. It's a bummer. Uh, let's go check out this outer area first, I think. Then we'll go up. There will be the workshop. A bunch of the carpet. Okay. There was nothing there. I think there is a secret if we go here and bring us around to the base. Of course. The party has just begun. That's easy. Of course. Let's go. There might be more. Easy. Great. Nice. Doesn't look like it. Great. Get this. Understood. And that's it. Okay. So one more uh, Empire Points item. Let's go. Let's go into the workshop first. Okay. Okay, that's uh, quite a bit. Let's throw a grenade. We have two more, so let's use one. Let me blow up some and keep one for emergencies. Those 
You should be able to clear the rest. I used like two of them when I didn't really have to earlier, just to speed up the process. So I hope I'm not gonna encounter something unbeatable. Uh, this is not a workshop, this is chores. Okay, there is nothing. Uh, not even these are lootable, so go back. I need to go all the way here, actually. Through this door. The workshop will be this, and this will be the production line. Kill this. Open up. And a bunch of runners, right? It looks like it. Go back. See how they spread out and then manage them. They are not actually all runners. That's good. We should be able to deal with them. Let me blow up some heads. Perfect. No fear. All right. So glad to do it. That is a great jar. Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. And that is actually uh place where you can stand and shoot at the enemies so we should do that before we venture somewhere where we get surrounded oh, yeah a bunch of runners of course okay it's pretty good continue shooting the runners before they can actually engage that's too much That was my emergency grenade. Uh, I guess I'll have to find a battle somewhere. Is that a battle here? No. Okay, it might be just uh, a run towards the uh, auto turret zone if we encounter something truly horrible. Actually, getting the movement speed buff on Kels would be great as well, so that you can play outrun. Some enemies. Currently we wouldn't be able to outrun the Venoms very easily or even the mutants. So, or not to mention harpies. So that could be useful, but combat potential is always more valuable, I feel like. If you can fight it and hold the line, it's usually better than if you need to run. But it can be useful. A whole bunch of runners. Okay, it's manageable. Let's kill the enemies of the Empire. Avenge that. Of course. Rotary search. Come on. Now we need to go through here. And we'll probably want to go here. That's that. Oh, there. I can attempt to just go up first, but then we might get cut off, so... Just a dumb idea. Should just clear this. Make sure it's safe. Kill the runners as they approach. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Got hit a little bit. Start shooting them. Bunch of them dead. Stop. Good. 
take care of them piecemeal. But this is blocking the line of sight, I'm not sure if there is anything behind it. Doesn't look like it, so just deal with these guys. That. Okay, another one. Another one is running. There is one there. There is a crate. It would actually be good if we could somehow get another grenade. So I'm pretty sure we are gonna encounter something truly horrible in one of the rooms. I used all the grenades. I should decrap it. And there are some runners, okay. Not good. Prioritize them. Not that even more. Looks like it. You have the med kits, so taking a few hits is not something I mind too much. As long as we can speed up the clearing process. Seem like there is anything there. There might be a hole. Yeah, there is one. Go up. Yeah, there is a bottle. <laughs> and this crate is empty, unfortunately. This crate is not. Okay, all the research, uh, all the empire points and some extra research. We'll actually get 360 out of this mission. It's great. It's gonna help us to fund our Research towards the shocking towers. That's a crate. Then we need to go here. I'm kinda scared because I don't have a grenade on me. So if we encounter the yeah, if there is a bunch of stuff behind the door, I'm just gonna have to run and it's not gonna be pretty. Let's use the med kit. Just to make sure we don't get ambushed. Would be a pain to run this mission again. Yeah, let's open it up, see what happens. Uh, it's not too bad, it's not like jam-packed of them. Jam-packed full of them, so... Should be able to deal with them. Probably. I gradually kill them. There might be more. I think there are more actually. There will be like executives. Uh, slowly approach. Take a look. Whole bunch of runners and yes, executives. And not a few of them. Okay. Shoot them. He didn't actually take a hit there. Quite fortunate. So this guy. Remove the runners first. Yeah, bait out a few of them, it's fine. Don't want the whole swarm on me. Now it's okay. One last guy. Watch that. Just exit the facility and there are some decrepit around so we shouldn't get stuck. If I just click him through the end, he'll probably get stuck and killed probably by a decrepit, so wouldn't work. Just need to micromanage him. Make sure the path is clear. Uh, I'm kinda worried what's next. I think we have to clear out a swarm and then there will be the uh, the Sunday beach mission. 
It's a tough one. But it's definitely doable with soldiers. I think soldiers are great. But iron on that mission is contested quite heavily. So we'll have to figure out a way to make a bunch of rangers secure it before we make any soldiers, basically. Then once you get a bow of soldiers, you can start clearing the map entirely. And there will be swarms on that mission. And there are like two sides that are open, while the north and south are actually secure. So there is a potential to make a really big city in that mission. We need to think about the research though. We need to go towards the shocking towers. Otherwise we are just gonna get stomped by the later missions. I mean if you have to have uh, have to invest into some uh, like not great upgrades, might be worth it in the long run. Take a look at Kalos first. Fifty percent life is great, but we want the attack speed. And how this works is, if you unlock a thing, it will actually unlock the adjacent skills. I think. So we need to really think about what we want. Uh, if we get the life, we could unlock the attack speed next turn, this one. But the uh, effect radius might be better for what's next. I think the next mission is gonna feature like insane amount of infected, so getting the splash better is probably the best. 520 points in research. Okay, so that would be 260 for stone workshop and then... 100 and then 140, so we could potentially get it right away. Shocking Towers would be insanely good on the mission that's ahead. And it's probably what we are going to do. Even though it's not great for economy or anything. Just the power, sheer power of the Shocking Tower is gonna carry us to most of the stuff. It's also going to give us... Command center and energy transfer radius is the initial power side, so that's good for placing additional fishermen huts or hunters or sawmills initially. And energy supply from command center is great because you have to you, you don't have to build the mill as soon as possible. Let's go for that. It's our choice and it's a good one. So this is the earliest possible you can actually get the shocking tower, I think. So we have to skip a bunch of stuff, just because we cannot afford everything. It's unfortunate, that's how it is. And we are gonna have trouble dealing with the hordes, probably, just because we don't have uh, any upgrades on our troops. So I'll have to clear out an infected swarm. So it's gonna be this one, let's take a look. We are decrepit, so it should work with just soldiers. Take a look at it. So this is the Horde mission, so how this works is you actually get a bunch of units for your Empire points that you have and uh, the Empire points are actually refunded when you win or lose the mission, so you can, you will just constantly increase the amount of Empire points you get and you get them from the exploring missions or the no build missions. Yeah, let's set them to hold position and I'll just leave you here for a moment. I'll just quickly go uh, take a short break, like two minutes, and I'll be back. In the meantime, the soldiers will kill the swarm. You can see it approaching on the minimap.
Uh, okay. It looks like looks like we lost. Probably. There is an option to uh, run around with the uh, ranger to guide them. So we will do that if we lose. But for the most missions, what you actually do is you collect enough empire points to just slap down a whole bunch of snipers or soldiers and then just leave the mission running at the back at the background for like 30 minutes until it's done. But you almost got it. It's our first defeat. Really dumb way to die. Well, it happens. Okay. Right again. Get the ranger. Start the game. Pile around the outpost, hold position. Actually, pile them up closer because they usually keep their distance when piling up for some reason. Let's do that. Them. Okay, let's take the ranger. And her to first. Up shooting this guy. Kill him, at least one. We'll distract a bunch of them and let's run. Run, 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 run. There is a gap. Let's distract the whole group like this. And go back here. Distract this group. Make it go, go back. We need to. Eh. Let's make sure we distract part of this as well. We'll go in here. And go to the first. That should allow our troops to actually deal with the threat that's currently being engaged. While. Bunch of this is going back. Now we will go actually oh. go in here. Try to distract more. Go here, up and around. And they will also gain veterans if they are able to live long enough. It'll be good. That will massively increase the damage output. Yeah, let's shoot a guy. Right, oh, let's keep learning them away. Some of them got dragged around quite a bit, so that's beneficial. Might actually go in here now. Try to find a way to sneak her inside here. So that would be around. Not sure actually. Hard day looking on experience, 25-30%, that's not enough. It should still be helpful though. Okay, now we can actually reach here, so let's try to not have them wrap around too much. But they are getting distracted by the noise quite a bit, so let's try to dis just blur this. Part of it actually work. Some of them are dying. Not great.
How are you doing? 50%. Okay, let's try to learn part of this. Uh, don't really want to sacrifice the ranger, but we have to. Yeah, it's time to earn your keep. And also kite with the soldier. Eventually, if you really need to. Sixty percent XP. Looks fine, actually. Just the initial mass. That was the problem. Some of the swarms on the map are going to be a little easier, I think, to clear. Unfortunately, they lead to missions that are actually worse than the one that we are going to do next. So that's kind of strange how it works, but yeah. Let's do an attack move. Let's do some mop-up operations. Yep. 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 Okay. Looks like the north path is dealt with. Hold that. It's gonna be it. Actually, I'm not sure if the defeating swarms gives you. Uh, yeah, it does give you empire points. So there was an option to just go ahead and clear other swarms first. You know, this one is huge. This one is not so bad, but it's all runners. So maybe this one was the easiest. <clears throat> I actually don't know. Yeah, the narrow pass is insane. Let's go into the coast of bones. 800 population. Rich fishing. Okay. Pause the game. So in this mission, you want to send your first two rangers here, I think, because the stone is <coughs> here, and then iron is up here. Then you need at least one up and one to the side, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken. You need the fence, so let's set them up here. Explore that. Them. Right, there is a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> Start clearing. Yeah, there is stone. Need that. It's gonna be painful to clear that. Set up a patrol order. Mm, both of them have learned a significant group. Go near each other. Hope that the train will actually help out. Might. You'll get 200 gold once the train arrives. So let's spend our current stuff on two tents and a fisherman's hut. Need to make sure that we actually make them in the most profitable location. It would be here and then probably here. We need to keep a hundred. Mm. The train didn't help out. Let's make the lumber camp. 
it would be here. Need to make sure that clear this. Okay. Let's draw them back a little bit. You have more money. <coughs> You'll need to buy out another fisherman. Or probably a hunter. Need to make sure that we build him. Need one there. And the other one would go here on the side. I should do it right away. <coughs> Fine. And this ranger there. They're actually getting spread out more now, but it's still learning lumps of them, which is not great. To make sure this guy is clearing at all times. It's a clump. Build some tents. Start building them on this side as well. How do you want to do this? Probably can only have a single row, uh, unless we want to have a barracks in here. So if you want two rows, you have to make them here. Barracks point. Fine. Two ham on the tents. Okay, unit is under attack. That is a runner. Right? Yes. Fine. Unit is in, uh, in danger. Okay, one more. Make sure we clear the stone. Another threat. Okay. Go down. Go here. Now we have some gold. <coughs> we'll get a bunch more workers. build a pylon but first uh, let's get a mill we will build it here and we should expand the tents as well we should start expanding on this side probably it would be something like this Just one lumber camp is very limited, but we are stockpiling the wood currently, so that's good. We'll need to use it soon enough. We need to grab a pylon, and preferably somewhere where we can then immediately use it to build ourselves a mine. Go closer. Need to make sure that there is nobody sneaking here. Might happen. Go up. Uh, let's. Right now we are kind of low on food. After we get this, we should build another thing. We should also make sure we get all this coast to work with. So let's get pylon there. Another lumber camp there if we can clear it, but some runners will be starting around there, I think. It's gonna be dangerous. At least we have plenty of workers now. Uh, build another fisherman's cottage. 24, it's tempting, but it would disallow me from building there, so probably go for this instead of the greedy approach. 
probably gonna be better in total amount. I would really like the mine, but do finish clearing that first. Yeah, let's grab the wood. Uh, let's take a look. So, this is still contested. Could potentially go for the wood workshop first. Do you want to do it? Very important decision. I'm probably not gonna be able to afford a quarry right after that, so <clears throat> I guess not yet. Yeah, let's hold on to our stuff for now. I just placed on some extra tents. This one is bad. Okay. Quite enough. <coughs> yeah, cleared. Mm, problems. Right. It's okay. Build where? It's the best location for it. Let's use it. Uh, <clears throat> you'd need another pylon here. You'll grab one here. Spot for it. You're not swimming in energy currently. Yeah, there, there are some runners there. This is gonna be a problem. Need a barracks soon. How's this coming along? Horrible. There is a runner coming. Getting the Ranger attack upgrade would be great for early game clearing speed. It's a very, very powerful upgrade you could get. But it would cost very valuable research. So, not sure. Okay, so how can we do this? So, if we build. Fisherman's cottage here. We'll probably afford another one on that side once it's clear. So let's do that. Should be enough food for the early economy. But we'll need the wood workshop eventually, just because we want the better houses and farms. Need to build a pylon in here. Set up another sawmill. Should do that soon. Need to clear first. So have it like this. Probably reasonable. All the farmers were baited on this guy, but she managed to take down like three of them. That's good for long term. We also have 40 workers currently. <coughs> you need, need to get the stone first for the barracks. So until that happens, we can get the wood workshop. And I should have uh, shouldn't have outpassed actually. If we shifted it by one, I could have made two more tents in here. Oh, it's just one. Okay, then that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let's get that. And do we want extra tents? Probably not yet. We'll want another mill. And we'll get that mill here. We should also get a fisherman. So if we are not greedy, we could get more eventually. So let's get this one. Dangerous two of them. It's more than we can deal with, I think. Help out. Okay. How is this? Is that a dead? Oh. We lost that ranger. It's horrible. What's gonna happen is 
You need to barracks ASAP or this is a loss. Set a patrol order. This is bad. There are a lot of runners in there, so... It's gonna be... Three runners. Okay. Uh, guide them. Guide them. Guide them over here. Send this ranger. Okay. So yeah, three runners came at me just <laughs> before I even have the barracks, so that's why we lost the ranger. With just three of them it's gonna be pretty much impossible to defend everything. So we need the barracks ASAP. That is a undead coming, so I'll send a ranger there. At least we are gonna veteran these up pretty quickly now. But the loss is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. You have to vent it. Let's build the barracks. Build it here. I want some extra tents. Okay, we have the veterans here. Gonna help with clear speed. Since basically everyone has patrol orders though, which is horrible. Let's check this out. We should get an extra sawmill in here. Mm, I think this is dangerous, but let's risk it. Okay, and let's go up here, kill this. Then we'll set up the Patrol order like this. We have the wood workshop. Let's research. When is the first swarm? Day 14. Okay, so we can afford to have something else first, and that would probably be a farm. Tents are getting really old, so we'll want to keep this place for a barracks. We can slip some extra tents around here. Like this. Uh, two runners. That seems like uh, too much. This unit is also getting surrounded. How's this one going? Terrible and we need to heal it to crap it. Uh, kill it. Okay. Help out. It's really scrappy. I hate this. Uh, bad. It's too much. I think this is bad. Yeah, this is... <laughs> no way. That is no way to deal with this. And when they infect a building, it will actually alert the nearby infected. At least we can take a look how it done, uh, how it looks like when you get overwhelmed, so you can see how quickly it spreads. So if your command center dies, then <coughs> you are done. And they are gonna destroy it. Pretty quickly. But the start was not bad until I lost the trench. <laughs> if we uh, if we somehow claim the stone sooner, it might be better. So maybe delegate uh, one extra ranger earlier. Maybe something that we need to do. I actually saw some tactics where people actually use their all their initial units to push towards stone and then uh, split them around to the relevant areas but they cannot expand them because the undead will ap approach slowly from all sides okay go back gonna be stressful 
mission is always stressful. And especially since we went for the shocking tower, we have basically no early game bonus apart from the map from what the map gives us. Getting the ranger attack would be great for clearing. Get the initial tents. And yeah, take, take the rangers. One here. Unfortunately they are quite bunched up, so they will inevitably come in like a horde. But at four rangers we should probably be able to Whittle them down. This one is the most important thing. But this is spooky. You don't have any vision. Anywhere. Okay, we neglected some stuff. Need to get on top of that, so let's get this one. Now we got the sawmill. Make sure we build another fisher and two hunters that will be here and here. What to this wood? Let's take these two. Explore that, explore that. Okay, we need to build a bunch of tents. Roll. Stop clearing. Uh, problems. Right, let's go there. Need to make sure we build the tents correctly. Oh. Right here. Even more. I was just coming along, what a blood. That is a whole bunch of them. I don't think I can deal with that step. Move up. Move here. Some extra resources. Should build a tower. Approach the stone mining thing. The quarry. I've done an extra tent somewhere. Get more money. Problems. Right. Let's go here. Maybe they will get smushed. Looks like it just missed them. Okay, so enough for the quarry after the tower goes up. Should be significantly faster than last time. Make another fur. Right. Or we get the 22. We'll get a 20 and then one here, probably. Start building some extra tons on the side. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure there are no sneaky. Let's do this. That. Runners there, so need to be careful about expansion. I need a mail after income. Should be able to afford it. Car runners, right? Help out. Another unit is under attack. The crap it. I don't think it's dangerous enough to worry about that. Save up for a barracks, but choke point is a stone. That is a runner. Could probably expand here without much tune, but <coughs> these need to be cleared out first so we can place the tower optimal. Like this being too close to the tents. Uh, there is a risk that somebody will sneak through. So, how are you doing on stone? Red production cycle. That is a runner. Go back, shoot. Go back. Okay. I'm actually stockpiling gold right now. Not great. Uh, prepare for the future with another mill. Where do we want that? Let's place the fisherman first. Save up for the barracks. Okay. What? Need to build additional pylon here. Hopefully, it's not gonna be under threat anytime soon. Stop area is scary. And here also, actually. And there is a runner. Gonna push out. Squishy. Okay, we have the stone. Lock down the barracks. Get the extra tons. We need the labor. We can afford the workshop. Uh, problems. Right. This is gonna be the same deal as last time, where we will just get attacked by overwhelming numbers from here. Might be the case. Okay, there is a guy approaching the mail. Let's shoot him. Kill him before he makes too much sound. Okay, what else do we need? It's very close to the undead. Okay. 
It's not very safe. Let's build another tower over here. Push out very, very slowly. Like this is clear. Oh, there is one. It's almost horrible. Let's get a hunter. Okay, let's start producing units. Runner was run over. What else can we do? And build the workshop. To be safe. For a stranger. There was a notification. I'm not sure where it was. Okay, there are runners, so few rangers could maybe whittle them down. And keep producing. We'll need to expand towards the iron eventually because without soldiers this mission is impossible, I think. At least for me. For that. Okay. How many is that? A runner. Send a ranger here. Dead. We need to converge on him and. They are in it. One is under threat. Help out. There is more. We'll eventually want another male. So we can maybe prepare for that eventuality. Try to clear now. Should get some veterans soon. I hope. Again, we have two there, two there. We can keep a third one between these two just to support them. That is a veteran, sir. It happened here. Okay, right. And another one. That's here. Deal with the runners more easily. If you have the boot workshop, let's research the cottage first. Just take a look at fishing. Get that one going. Okay, another ranger. Send her up here. Keep this one here. Attack the runner. Or is it. No, it wasn't the runner at all. If you have full wood, you need to make use of it somehow, so you need to think of something. Uh, getting some balls would be the worst idea I ever had, but maybe just uh, the towers for reach would be better. Okay. This unit here. You again. Sounds interesting. It could be worse. This better be good. Yeah. You again. This better be good. Yes. A new tax. Okay. What do you want now? Attention. Building complete. You again. Let's keep pushing. 
pushing with these. Not great, but we have maybe enough to deal with uh, isolated runners. Okay. We almost have to go to research and another ranger up here. Need to push towards the iron. Our only choice. Keep making units. Upgrade. A search farm. We'll want another ranger here soon. Okay, that's okay. This is uh, fine, I think. Be able to hold that off. Okay, two of them at once is probably too much. Mm, might need an extra ranger here as well. Upgrade. Some wounded. This is a group that comes out of the fog of war, so I suspect it's an attack. Push these up a little bit. Should deal with them with the help of the elite ranger. Yeah, this is fine, I think. Making more. Send one here. To make sure, danger. Fine. Do we want to expand? We need to actually make sure that we have a stone workshop and research the shocking tower before day fourteen is here. It's because there is no other way to kill the horde. I don't think, unless we go heavy into soldiers and iron is here. And it's heavily contested by runners. We will push towards it, but it's gonna take a while to clear properly. I was just looking. Uh, yeah, that is terrible. Almost died. Need one more on the side. Do that. Great that just for more gold income. We are also struggling with burgers a little bit. We'll get some more once the train arrives. We have researched the farm. We should get it once we get enough wood. So where would be the best yield? We'd get straight up 64 over here. I think that's what we should do. Plus 62. And 64. And where is it? Here. Okay, let's get so mill uh, mil as well. Ranger. Let's send it on this side. This one is not defended properly. We need to push more as well. With this wood. Build a mill. Get it there. Build there. But this is not covered properly, so. We'll have to have one there and there. I need to think of how to properly do this. <laughs> we have a bunch of stone, so research the stone workshop. And I guess we'll get some cottages just for the extra income. Do we 
have another ranger. We do. Send her here. Okay. Push up. Back again. Here. Okay, the elite ranger should deal with that. We have another one, so let's send her in here. Start making a thing there and here. Let's get a cottage. I'm worried about all these alerts. This uh, corner is dangerous because they can run by the cliff and you most likely will not see them coming. Could be devastating. Uh, not enough gold. Send another ranger in here. I really would like some more veterans. See how this turns out. You'll need a whole bunch of them to clear the infested from there. Okay, food is not an issue anymore. Let's get some extra hovels. Actually, we have actually researched stone workshop, so that would require 40 wood and 1000 gold to get set up. And then we need to research shocking tower, and we need to do that before this. And then have enough resources for the shocking tower itself. The worst, worst part is getting enough gold income, I think. Yeah, that was fine. Get this whole bunch of foreigners. Cannot deal with that. Okay. Shop, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, make sure we producing. This ranger will go here. Another one and her this direction. Where is it? Up here, okay, that's uh, not a small life, so make sure we deal with them. They are constantly coming. Uh, okay, I guess push up a little more. Yeah, that takes us. This uh, elite ranger is constantly under threat, it's not good. You almost can afford this, right? Uh, not enough workers, cheap mainly, so... Just want to make a few houses. Good. Help us quite a bit, and uh, it will also boost our income, so it will be good. But we'll need to think about the stone workshop eventually, and the time is coming soon for the horde. So <laughs> need to be mindful of that. Also mindful of all these attacks. Cannot afford it to get uh, out of control. Okay. Let's move them at once there. Okay, we have pushed a bunch of them. Let's get the stone. And let's take a look at this. Right, that's okay, I think. Have you got the stone? Yes, but she got set on. Uh, it's almost horrible. We had like 3 HP left. Yeah, I overextended that a little bit. Okay. Mm. Before we push into that, we'll need a few more ranchers here. 
So let's do that and let's get the stone workshop going. Need to find a good snuggler place for it, I think. Having it here would be good. Can't afford anything else. A bunch of runners. Like a whole bunch of. <laughs> it's probably an attack as well. Or just a group. Ranger up here. Push up with some of these. Need to reinforce that area as well. Uh, almost there. Yeah, that was definitely a group that was heading for our city. So, this is problematic. I just cannot reasonably defend it. But that is a good choke point. Be great to get it. There. That is fine. How about this? This is also going fine. I just need to clear that. Uh, is this done? Not yet. Let's upgrade some of the housing. Go here. And we probably will want to expand towards this. So that would be our deck. Okay. Mm. this ranger. Just send it up here, start shooting that, see how many come out, I guess. The time is coming, we need to research the shocking tower. And energy and food is running kinda low. We need to get on top of that as well. But it requires wood. Mainly. We'll have to make sure we have enough. Get a metal in here. And I guess we could get a hunter. This could be a sawmill. Or we could have one there. That will get a hunter in here. Get a fisherman. Get another one. So that will provide us with the food. Sorry. Another ranger sent her. Yeah, that's a lot that came out. We should get some veterans, you know. Uh, how much does a shocking tower cost? It costs 900. So, another income cycle, and we should be able to afford it. Wait on that. It's becoming a problem. Back a little bit. Two ranchers, let's send them up. And let's research the tower. Should get another house. Under attack. Ooh. Actually, invest into expansion of the, uh, the Tesla towers just to make sure that we have enough energy coverage everywhere to build the shocking tower where the enemy attack is gonna come from. Because we don't know where it's gonna come from. And when we find out, we need to immediately place it on the shocking tower. Makes me think another mill would be good to have. 
like absolutely sure we can afford it. Let's upgrade some houses. Uh, stone looks good. Let's keep pumping out the rangers if we can. How much difficulty have you encountered so far and failed missions? Yeah, we have one fail on this mission so far. Because early game I got... I lost one ranger and then I had like six runners come in from one direction and three from the top early game before I even had a barracks so that killed me and then on one of the swarm missions I just uh, t took a break and let them fight it out and it was just slightly not enough uh, empire points to deal with the swarm but it's fine uh, failures are very very much expected but so far only having two of them and one of this uh, one on the swarm is actually like much less than I expected Okay, so you have plenty of rangers. Oh, let's push in. We'll get some veterans here. Eh? And you need to push up with the Tesla towers. Let's climb that. We cannot build more yet. It's unfortunate. Get the iron, get the wood. That's what we need, and yeah, I need gold now. Okay. Yeah, this ranger might be screwed. Uh, not entirely. Maybe it's salvageable, yeah. Push up. It's gonna be a problem once the horde arrives. Uh, it will actually cause a bunch of the collateral zets around the map to actually venture towards the city as well, which is usually what kills you. It's not the main horde, unless you mismanage it directly. Okay, let's take a look. Runners, right? like we are at the choke point here, so that's good. Mm. Kind of want to expand the shocking uh, the Tesla towers just to make sure we can build the shocking tower at the best possible location when that happens. Whatever the need arises for it, we should make quarry. Start quarrying some of this iron. It's a lot of runners. Uh, make a soldier. Maybe should have gone with a few more rangers, I'm not sure. Yeah, this corner area is like very exposed. Uh, expand a little with this nut. Make it like this. Where? Here, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. This is also stretched to capacity. But we have cleared all the way towards the side area, which is good. We have researched the shocking tower. Oh, let's take a look how expensive it is. That would be this. 600 gold. Yeah, so we, can, we should keep it on hand on day 13. So that's in several hours. Uh, just one more ranger. We keep the soldier here, I guess. It's gonna be rough. We need to make sure that we build it very, very quickly when we find out from which direction they will actually come. Build a house. Need extra workers as well. Okay, that's manageable, I think. Hopefully some juicy veterans soon. Okay, we have a new ranger. Let's send her in here. Ship them around a little bit to better defend. 
can get an extra soldier. This direction is scary. There is a bunch of runners. Another attack. This is also a group that comes randomly to attack you, so need to juggle that as well. Looks safe. This, on the other hand, looks terrible, so I'll have to juggle them around again. Is it safe? Mm. I think we are attracting more and more. <laughs> the horrible. Not have any losses. That'd be great. Okay. These groups of runners, they are just obnoxious. Uh, only a few hours left. I need to know where it comes from. I, I don't know currently, and that's bugging me. Make sure we produce some soldiers. Let's go. Need to build this. Yeah, let's upgrade some of the cottages. You have another soldier. I could use another farm, so let's get it. Build it. Yep. Feels like ages. I'm just waiting on them to show me. So they will come from here. They can either come here or here. I sus I strongly believe that they will come here. I actually don't have to food. This 15, right? Let's wait until the production cycle is done. Build it here. I hope it's there. We might have to re redirect them if they want to go here. Ah, uh, is it west? Dumb. Ah, oh, fuck. Thanks, Zara. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Gonna be here. Okay. Build it. It was uh, it was costing me quite a bit to get rid of that because you only get part of the resources when you get rid of a building. But at least we should survive. So it should be good. Let's keep some soldiers in the back line there just to make sure it does not break. Uh, this lower area might be under threat, so let's bunch them up more together. This one more in the back. And we'll need to start building ourselves a defense. It will be some wood walls, I guess. And hunch around here. While remaining some with some guards here, just to discourage any zombies from doing damage to this core. But thanks for that, because I would totally build it there. <laughs> A smart time. Yeah, let's get a lumber camp. And a hunter. Yeah, they are coming. Yeah, 
Okay, forces are under attack. This is. Uh, I don't think I can deal with that. This is kind of fine, I think. Let's not have this, just that. Because it would totally kill me. Uh, let's split them up. Yeah, that's okay, you know. Uh, let's keep upgrading some stuff just in the meantime so that nothing is idle. This uh, ranger is under threat. Uh, juggle the Zats between the groups. Uh, somebody died. Where is it? It's here. Oh, shit. Yeah, there is a group coming right there. It's gonna be horrible. Let's take the stuff. Send it there. Soldiers, here. Uh, yeah, so... We will need to send them towards there. In this group here. I think they might have smashed my... Ah, oh, I lost this! In the meantime. <laughs> <sighs> it is this area is just uh, worthless now, so this is uh, too much. I don't think we can deal with that, and this is going to in in effect the city. So yeah, uh, this is how we die. It's too many losses. I don't think I can deal with that. I mean, I'll try, but uh, no, this is irrecoverable. So there was uh, like a huge group, like 30 individuals that came from there. How are the rangers supposed to handle that? It's beyond me, so... Uh, yeah. It's over. And these... Yeah, these died as well, because I had to pull away the soldiers, so... <laughs> this is how it collapses. Just, uh, they attack everywhere at once with a bunch of runners. So probably have a few soldiers behind every ranger, like every two rangers. That could work. I'm just thinking about how to approach it next, because this is clearly over. But the early game went well. Unfortunately, I'll have to do it all over again. It's horrible. So if you had like 30 soldiers, you can even contain infections like this. But not happening. Let them eat the city. you have to pay if you want to get the shocking tower so early you actually have to sacrifice a lot of early game power so the only benefit that we have is the gold transportation which is an awesome upgrade but it's not enough to pull us through all the shit that's barreling down the mission is kind of tough this one adds two skulls as you can see but all of these are, so there is no easy way to progress. This is the easiest one of what we have available currently. And killing the swarms would not uh, yield us any, any extra 
uh, side areas, like the weapons things. So you just have to do this, and it's definitely possible, but it's frustrating because the amount of runners is just insane on the map, and they do come to attack your city and in big numbers. You're not thinking how to approach it better. Maybe can I somehow get the iron quicker and then try to make a few soldiers earlier to help out with defense on each flank while the shocking tower deals with the horde. But the enemies actually did come to the quarry. We could just cut that area off in an event that that happens again. And then try to bait the infected into the shocking tower if it does not get overwhelmed. We even got the shocking tower destroyed because one of the walls was weak. I didn't pay attention to it. Hmm. Definitely possible. I just don't know if I can do it today. It's been almost five hours actually. Yeah, I think we should we should just uh, pass for today. I think uh, I'm not at my best currently, so we'll continue this another time, and it's fine because it's a long play. So. You really like what you are seeing so far, Kerry? Good to know. Much better. Yeah, it like it is surprisingly uh, difficult and. The decision making is what actually solves you the situations, right? So each time you get your ass kicked, there is actually some like a thought process that goes behind what I need to do to fix this and make it better. But one thing that can keep, that can get very frustrating is the research tree. I cannot undo any of these researches. So if you invest into something that's very good but not beneficial in the long term, you can actually get scuppered. So without the shocking tower, some of the missions will be impossible for you on the hardest difficulty. But you can always drop it if you don't feel like that's uh, too bad. Uh, I don't think dropping the difficulty will yield you more research. It's just making the missions easier in numbers of infected and how much time you have between the hordes. So if I didn't go for the Shocking Tower, I would probably like to get this. Yeah, it's a, it's a massive factory and you cannot get everything. So you need to prioritize what's the best. So Ballista is pretty good, but first you need to get the Ranger attack damage and that's great because it reduces the amount of arrows that you need to shoot to kill infected so that's a very 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 strong bonus early game maybe i would value it even more than getting the second the fifth ranger from here but uh, stuff like this bearings and police which uh, increases 20 percent food production from fishermen and then this mill energy supply it's good on paper but it will mean that you cannot, if you combine the costs, it will be the difference between you getting the important stuff and you being stuck with rangers. So against like thousands of infected, you just uh, have to go for the pet attack. Okay, so that was probably around, uh, was probably enough rambling for today. Let's take a look. So. Who else is up? Looks like Fishlips is playing, playing some uh, hard space ship breaker. So let's check him out and cheers for tuning in. See you some other time. Does this just pop off? Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's underneath it? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Thermal spider? That could have been quite. Could have been valuable or whatever. What is these aluminium panels that I keep breaking? Is it just on the backs of these and I just don't see them?
I mean, it's fine, whatever. Hi, Merrick. Oh, I didn't even return your issue rated. Hi. Bad streamer is bad. I'm just chilling out with some yeet breaker. Yeeting many things. Okay. Scary thing next. I think. No, we'll do this. We'll do this last. It's too close to the power generator. If that pops, I'm going to be so mad. Um, right. It's just mostly this stuff back here. What's that? Radiation containment. Right. We need to chop you off later. Um, I guess I could pull the reactor out of the bottom. Right? This isn't connected to anything anymore. Got about five minutes left in this ship, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Keep her out. Uh. Okay, it's fine. Whew. Scary. Um, you go. Got to be way more like aggressive on my use of tethers. Tethers are tethers are great. Wait, what was that? Engineering panel. Can those be? No, they can't be processed. They can't be salvaged. Are they? Okay. Where's the third one? Third, oh right, is this that uh, this guy? It's true. Yeah, where you go? Right, it's this thing. These these are these are scary. I don't know what happens if you get them wrong yet. I haven't figured that out. But <laughs> yeah, it does go wrong. Ooh, don't you freaking flash at me, boy! I appreciate that. Down you go. Oh God! That's because I tapped it. All the radiation, that's the radiation that popped out. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go into it for a minute. Okay. <laughs> okay, that'll go away in a minute. Alright, next question. How do we get the reactor out of here? Are there any other cut points I haven't cut, really? There's these over here. Other than that, basically everything has been cut. Also, Ops is still pressurized. Why is Ops still pressurized? That should have been... done with a long time ago. I guess that's two separate um, areas. Well, let's depressurize Ops. Uh, where is Ops? Should be fine. There's not much in here, airwise. Yep, it's fine. Right. And the next question is oh, geez, half this got broken. Oh, that's only this thing that got broken. Everything else is fine. Somehow this decompressed. I'm not sure how. I might have to cut this off because this this uh, part and this part are actually different parts. They just look like they're kind of wedged together. Like right here is the, the part where it changes. I might have to chop this part just to get the front off. Also not sure how I'm gonna get all the junk out of this thing. There's no easy way to access the front of it. Right, so what's in here, systems wise? Objects wise? Okay, I could probably chop like here. It will be fine. Right here. What the heck was that laser to the right? Hey, 
60 seconds left to wrap things up, Gunner. 